100 percent online process and a range of treatment options including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands at up to 95 percent off ed is personal and at hymns so is treating it. Just go to hymns.com slash radio and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free with zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash radio. That's hymns.com slash radio for your free online visit. H-I-M-S dot com slash R-A-D-I-O. Hi, everybody. I'm Gary Sharp for Lonely Clothing. The kids are telling me, and even adults, my fit is rad. You know why my fit is rad? Is because I'm going to Lindley Clothing. I'm letting them outfit me, and I'm also taking advantage of the final week of the annual spring sale. Get 15% off all sportswear, tailored suits, sports coats, buy one, get one half off, and also new to the Lindley Clothing family. This is a game changer. Listen up. Well suited. You can see for yourself how easy to shop for you or someone in your life just in time for prom, graduations, any special event. If I need a suit, I go there. Don't rent a suit. Buy a suit from Lindley Clothing and Well Suited. Tickets for less. Best seats, best prices, no service fees. Shop ticketsforless.com. KOZN Bellevue, Omaha, Council Bluffs. This is 1620 The Zone. A crossover is... Crossover dribble. Same for the crossover. Kyrie Irving. Crossover in the lane. One of the most famous crossovers of all time. Behind the back, an ankle breaker on Chris Paul. Crossover. 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 Cross
love doing baseball games. You just I, want the you just want the sound quality. I love better. I love doing baseball games. But yes, I'd like to put together a nice fun a, a good broadcast. And right. uh, it, sometimes there are things that hinder it. It doesn't get yeah. fixed unless you ask about it. Talk about it. That's for sure. I mean, there you go. But I don't think I'll probably do many more games at UNL. But you know, we'll see. Okay, shame works. Public I just, shame. I just yep. I, I hope I was hoping oh, you that said a, shame. I thought you said Shane. I was like, who is Shane? I was hoping that a 150 mile an hour foul ball would come back and smash through the window, maybe hit me in the face, and then we could shove a mic out the window after. Problem solved. Yeah. Hey, uh, by the way, did you guys ever get any water? Uh, we did. We did. Okay. Uh, Glenn delivered us some water, which was nice. Okay. Which was nice. All right. Before the game, we were sitting there for a while. This is like four o'clock, and I was like, I'm gonna go to the gas station and get some snacks. And it so there's a QT there on 72nd. Yes. yes. Very close. Yes. Very close to the ballpark. To get there and back. It's a <laughs> trek. It's a trek. Like it was so hard. On, on it, GPS, well, it looks like well, a short drive. It's only like 28 obstacles. minutes. No, so there is a shortcut out of instead the, the of back going way? back. Yeah, 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 back by where the golf yeah. course used instead to be. Of, I should have done that. Going I around to get on center. I didn't know yeah. where that road would lead me. It goes up back behind the apartment. So there. I went, yeah, I went out to center and then had to do the whole loop around. And then but 72nd is a complete disaster. Sometimes they have that road blocked off, though, for like the bigger events. I'm sure it wasn't last night, but sometimes you can't do that. And having to get out that way, it's an adventure. That's for sure. A lot of gas station talk today on a, on a Wednesday. Oh, really? 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 You guys we, have takes? What, yeah, uh, what I had an incident at Casey's this morning. Oh, no. I, I, I wanted coffee. And... An incident? <laughs> well, you're not implying that Casey's was out of something that they were supposed to <laughs> happen. Not what happened. I think but we're on the same. On brand. So what has happened to Casey's in this town? Well, they've 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 they cornered grew, the market. They grew too fast. <laughs> they, they took over every other gas station. And they didn't bother ordering product for those other stores that they bought or quality employees <laughs> yeah <laughs> nobody seems happy to be at a casey's no and this morning i think they were a husband and wife one was working where you make the pizza the other one was behind the counter there were two people in front of me including a, a gentleman dressed in a really nice suit that was grabbing some bottles of water and these two were going at it <laughs> like dropping the f-bomb <laughs> and i i gave credit to the the lady behind the counter because she told this guy to f and do your job nice. loudly and then paused and said, are you a Casey's Rewards member? And then, went, <laughs> and then went back to hollering at this guy. Like, it was uncomfortable. Oh, wow. Like, I thought they were going to fight. Get me out of here. And we're like, uh, I'm good. good. Coffee, and then I thought, it, it ain't going to be till like 6.30 till I'm out of here. And so I just put down my coffee and walked out. But they're like, they're like, like they don't, they look like, like they look. Um, Disheveled? Kind of not kept well. Sure. I'm used to that. I walk into Casey's. I'm like, this, I like Casey's. And it just seems like the last ones I've walked into are, are on the struggle bus. I, and we got off on a half hour Mega Saver contingent. Yeah, and then Jimmy killed Mega Saver. I hope they're not. A uh, Mega Saver has done a good enough job on their own right to do that. Jeez. jeez. But yeah, uh, are like you noticing the same thing? Agreed. Oh, I, I, I struggle. I struggle going to a Casey's anymore because of those issues. Like, you know what? I'm gonna stop at a Casey's on the way home, and on the on my way to the podcast studio because we got a nice one right there on Gretna, and see if it's any different. Uh, in, at the everything section, di everything's different. No, 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 I'm gonna, right I'm, yeah, I, I just it just means more di diff <laughs> different in the midday because compared to the morning proximity so, to big lake. But like the mega saver is, you could get a little bit of everything when you go into a mega saver. Oh, are you I mega save? Play the slots. Yes. <laughs> so that's at this Casey's. They now have sl like slot machines. I think yeah. it's like a thing in every gas station now. Mm -hmm. We we're getting texts from people at different gas station. Uh, the Quick Trip has them. Uh, the one of the uh, well, well, I don't know. Somebody said fantasies did have them. Do you get it now? If you if you shove like a hundred dollar bill in there, do you get Casey's rewards? <laughs> That's a good question. Because <laughs> that would be a nice little workaround. Great marketing opportunity. Be a nice little workaround if you could do that. I have seen these slot machines in these gas stations. I'm like, what's going on here? But like a mega <laughs> saver, you you basically can get. There's a lot of interesting stuff behind the counter and in front of the counter. Hey babe, I want to go hang out at uh, Casey's for a little while. <laughs> Sit at the slot machine, People play some, saying. play some buffaloes, and then I'll be, uh, <laughs> I'll be back in a little while. Don't worry. Uh, it is because uh, you know Jimmy finishes his after hour show, which is heard from six to eight, depending on the sports schedule. Mm -hmm. With that, whatever day it is, it'll be on tonight. Yeah, we will be on tonight. tonight. Did you know that it is National Farm Animal Day? Oh, I always have a contingency to pick from, but I did okay. not know that yet. I haven't. Looked if at you are going yet. with a three animal parlay of farm animals. <laughs> <laughs> Who would be your three animal parlay? What Ooh. does this even mean? Uh, pig. 
Oh, that's the number one pick. Yeah. Okay. Cow. Pig, pig cow. Chicken. Yeah. Is duck in the rotation anywhere? If you want to put that, though, if you feel confident in that uh, three farm animal parlay. I'm you trying can, to think of like what I see in what like about kids like books. your what about like your farm dog? You know that's all in play, lot, and and the abundance of cats that usually the, the random out. cats. Yes, it's like where do they come from? Who knows? But they're there. There's always cats. Uh, Ooh, it's also at National Cinnamon Croissant Day. Ooh, cinnamon croissant, amazing! They look fantastic. Check that out. Oh yeah, look uh, at that. Look, oh, National Day. No, I saw it. I saw yeah. it. I saw it. National Day calendar. Yep, this is where I get a spoiler alert. This is the uh, website I get the National Day from. Everybody. National Cinnamon Crescent Day. Uh, National Farm Animals Day. Is it uh, National S- or Crescent? It says Crescent. It looks like a croissant to me, though. Croissant. Uh, National Siblings Day. National Encourage a Young Writer Day. Oh, wow. <laughs> you should get like 11. Shout out to all of our you friends. You should get like 11 like 15 Star. days. And then the, there's hey. this one weird days where it's like one thing that I would never read on no. air. So I just get Let's, the day before. Hey, <laughs> shout out to our young writers at the Daily Nebraskan, the Craytonian. Yes. And yeah. the uh, Gateway. And the Lincoln Journal Star. A lot of young writers there? Yes. The young boys. On a side note, speaking of age and sports that writers, problematic. Like the World Herald is like going to go through a major transition like in the next five years, right? <laughs> yeah. Like Stu and Mike and Tom are a little bit older. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're not going anywhere. I don't think Mike Patterson's. You talk to Tom should tell I don't think Mike's like, ever going to retire. Tom loves, Tom is absolutely loving it right now. I know. But the, you know, the industry, but you're getting a little bit older and I'm talking to him on Friday. I mean, I'm sure that he doesn't want to, you know, you just want to kind of like retire. His kids are, uh, let's see, are, are the girls out of the house? Yeah. I think they're out of the house now. But, okay, so uh, young sports writers, young writers, yep. period. We have to Good encourage them today. The industry is uh, changing. I hope you adapt. Yep. Hope and you I, know love TikTok. That, I love that you're in it. Hope you know TikTok. Get ready to make your TikToks. Get the TikTok camera sounds, out. Sounds awful. Uh, we got an email here from uh, Thomas. Hi, Thomas. Uh, Casey's on 72nd. Harrison is great. Shout out to Clarissa. Um, Sounds like that might be his wife. But the one on 154th in Q is bad. (laughs) The computer prices never match the posted prices and the cashiers won't honor it. I filed a complaint with corporate. Whoa. They're all over 50 cents off. They ended up giving me two dollars on my Casey's rewards. Josh, I would I, I would never ask you to create a poll question, but if you if you would, do you think uh, do you know a bad uh, do you know a bad gas station is a quality poll question? <laughs> do you know a bad gas station? Do you know a bad? Are gas you aware station? of a bad gas station? Yeah, I think I like that's a hundred percent yes. Because yeah. uh, it doesn't name well, any okay, brand. Let's be in honest. Particular. We know which one in town is going to be a runaway winner with that. Whoa, 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 whoa! But but we're not going to single anybody out here. We don't want to. We don't want to give bad publicity. Well, we've been doing a lot of that. You <laughs> killed Negasaber. Literally right? all this has been. <laughs> uh, Jason, by the way, uh, says you don't get case your rewards for playing the slots. I asked. <laughs> <laughs> we give you the information you need to know here on 1620 The Zone. That's like, there's good. just something about I don't hanging wanna... out Casey's playing slots while everybody's coming in and doing their business. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to say we all know a bad gas station because I said we all do something yesterday and I triggered Happer and I don't want to go back down that road. So. We'll just Thank ask, you. We'll ask the people. <laughs> yes, ask the people. Yeah. Uh, the people know. No, the person who's triggered me this morning is you, Ooh. Gary. You're trying to know a Fantas again. I can't believe this. It's happening again. I know nothing. It's happening again. I've been trying to get it out of him for the last two hours. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. They're they're. Uh, it's it's all under wraps. It's all under. I think we all are going to find out at the same time Monday morning at eight o'clock. Right? Is invite? Gary trying to tell us something with his wardrobe today? Has Kansas made it? A, oh, yeah. <laughs> an insertion in the last hour. Gary does love that sweatshirt. He's got an Omaha hat. Very Kansas hoodie. It does look comfortable. It is comfortable. Is it Omaha. Something about comfort. It's going back to Omaha. See, I didn't make the list. Okay, maybe he's making the transition. I saw Frank Sir at the uh, at the baseball game Frank last Sir. night. He was uh, he was rocking a shirt that had none of the colors of any of the teams that are on it. It was it was white and brown, I think. You know, he's just well an enjoyer out. of baseball, just going as an enjoyer of baseball, which is great. We love to see young baseball fans. It was a yes. I think people, Baylor honestly. Shireman was there too. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the uh, Creighton softball team was there. A lot of the Creighton softball team. The celebs were out last night. Uh, they were. I mean, that's <laughs> many luminaries in attendance. Mm-hmm. Well, when you have a small ballpark like that, intimate, you get to see everybody. You do. Now, I, I brought this up to Jimmy earlier. If they indulge in the $2 after, beers. I know. 
after Jimmy had killed Mega Saver. Was that the deal last night? Two dollar beers? First oh, three innings. First three innings. Nice. Yes. How about that? Yes. And ironically, the first three innings went quick. The next three innings <laughs> would be nice forever. if all ballparks sold beers. Um, did you notice <laughs> the amount? And maybe you have at Thanks, uh, the Chuck. There are more people keeping score. I've noticed. Love oh, it. Hell yeah. Yes. Love go. it. And bringing their gloves. Good. Good. So there was a guy that usually sits down by the visiting dugout at Tal Anderson, big Mets fan. He always keeps score. I noticed that <laughs> somebody with him was keeping score and they brought their glove as well. Amazing. So on their, their left hand, they had their glove and they had in the right hand, they had their pencil or pen keeping score. They, they got, they also, if they were, I think I know the guy you were talking about, uh, they were sitting in close proximity to the Creighton dugout. They got to hear some things last night as well. Some, conversations did you hear where frankie fiddler's going <laughs> between no the whole plate umpire i don't and think the i don't think Ed service had any takes on where frankie fiddler was going but he did have some words for the home plate umpire a few yeah, times when you're in night. a smaller venue you can hear that stuff <laughs> yeah, yeah well except well, unless and, you're behind the glass window that you can't and open <laughs> i couldn't hear jack and, and it's famously <laughs> not quiet either <laughs> um but to your question um now, back to when Noah Fan here in studio announced he's going to Iowa. Yeah, I can't believe you did that. Um, <laughs> honestly, that day we we had we thought he was going to Nebraska. Actually, I I I thought maybe Damon probably had a better sense. Well, um, you uh, you, but you know, I didn't. You agree to uh, do the announcement on a show in, in Omaha? A state. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Close proximity to the state of Iowa, of course. Yeah. Maybe it, maybe he viewed it as neutral ground. But he also he uh you know he we didn't know that he'd also come in decked out in Iowa gear that he would make the announcement by taking off his shirt. But he, we like we like Noah. Yes, and local athlete. It was great to have him in studio. It just uh you know didn't were go you, your way. Were so you now you're back that for we're the, not neutral ground. Th this is the revenge tour. This is the revenge tour. Fremont Fred says, uh, "I swear to all that's holy." If Fiddler announces he's going to Iowa on another Gary Sharp show, I'll go ape bleep. Well, that isn't one of his. Me four, too. So I retweet, retweet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fred has been on fire today. He's had some takes. Yeah, I think we're good. I think he's going to go to Iowa. <laughs> I don't think you have to worry about that. He's going to be the head coach. You don't get some reassurances on the front end. Yeah. Nah, hey, look, we're like, all in this together. Hey, you we're, don't have to tell me where you're going, but. Is it? Am I going to have to prepare for something yeah. here? Yeah. Do we need well, the dump so, Okay. Ready? So last night he said, uh, um, <clears throat> you know, as we were, I, and it just came up in in conversation, um, and he goes, "Yeah, let's do it. He's going to do it." Because I was asking him what's going to happen on his trip to Michigan State, and uh, you know, he, he's he's let me know how things have gone during this process, and uh, I said, "Okay, uh, eight a.m. works," and he said, "Yeah." And, he, and I go, I go, don't post anything before. And he goes, no, he goes, I won't. He goes, then do you think I should call the coaches before or just let them hear? <laughs> and I'm like, 16, 20, I'll send you the way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Grab a couple more listeners, Gary. That's why you're a pro. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Yeah. I, I, by, by the looks of it, uh, the Wisconsin people have taken a, a, a keen interest. Uh, yeah. In what's uh, in what will be announced on Monday at eight o'clock. People are going to start asking us, is Gary taking a job in Madison? <laughs> Why are there so many people from uh, Madison tuning in? Uh, he has two local schools that he's very interested in. Yeah. Extremely interested in. Uh-huh. Yep. So that's good. We'll, yeah. have, we'll have that. Iowa and who? Yeah. <laughs> Don't, I mean, it's mm -hmm. wide open. Let the bidding begin. For yeah. me. And then I'll uh, see if, uh, what influence I can have. Oh, okay. There you Smart. go. Nice. Yeah. You, yeah, you got to parlay this. You, sure you got five days. I'm sure there's probably something illegal involved in all of that. <laughs> De definitely. Yeah. For sure. But you got the you got the control right now, which is good. I'm, a, I'm excited to listen to the show at 8 o'clock on Monday. And, of course, every other time of well, every other I, day. Uh, I, <laughs> I, I think he will then explain what it's like to be in the portal. That's good. I, I would like some insight on that because he's a very highly sought after person at the moment. Um, you know, and he's been very mature about how he's handled it from Omaha's standpoint. And um, I just I think kids hear a lot of stuff. Um, some some have been very honest with him and some have just said things that he wants to. hear. We'll give you a million dollars. Sure. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, like the, the money is involved. I mean, 
of hey, course. Kids want money, and you know they want to play at the biggest stage, and they want to get to the NFL or the NBA. Um, Jimmy and I were talking earlier, and this may be on you guys' show rundown. Did you see the Oregon State running back that is in the portal? Who put a price tag by himself? <laughs> yeah. And so do you think that that is the player telling Pete Tweet what he was going to make at Oregon State to help his value? Because what or if we where start, does that come from? What if we start reporting what a player was allegedly going to make at a school? Well, there's no way of actually knowing. You could I know, so you it, could just make so your own price. Come, so it has to come from the player yeah. that then tries to set the market for their next stop. Yeah. And you go, I barely heard about you. You're yeah. a four hundred thousand dollar <laughs> running back. What is blank gonna make who is on draft boards that's now in the portal? Yeah. Well, I, I think I think conversely, there's probably some people on the other side who are really good players, and they, you know, maybe didn't market themselves the way they could have, and they went for a price that was, you know, they could have got some more out of it or something like that. It's very odd. You, you run that risk though if you put, you know, if you put that dollar amount next to your name, are you shortchanging yourself in certain areas too? Sure, it's one of those things that you gotta gotta play the game. I mean, four hundred thousand dollars seems like a lot of money for. That running back. It does. It does. But but then is that believable? Yeah. There's also the part, can we handle it? Can, just think about if if you if there was some stipulation that you had to make stuff public, would we be able to handle O'Shawn Mathis? What, <laughs> what he was making, which probably was way inflated to actually what he was. Uh-huh. But we assume that he was making this huge amount of money. And you're like, well, what does your production say? Yeah. No, I mean, but but if you're the player, you know. He's the number one player in the portal at the time. If you if you're the player, you could just tell people like, no, I'm not I'm not doing anything for less than this. You know, which seems like that's and the market. Right and now. then it's just a blinking game. And that like, you know, and, and maybe the school is like, uh, no, we we we're, we don't have that kind of money. We're not gonna allocate it to you. Um, and then you you that's that's where you set the number, but the player could always come back and be like, Okay, well, you know, that's that's the best offer I got. Weird game. Weird game that we all play, by the way, at the moment. Uh, from Corey on the Hi, YouTube, uh, you also can't get Casey's rewards on cigarettes or alcohol. Got a sham as that. It's, it's good. Uh, but I'm glad we know that we we now know we can get uh, Casey's rewards for. Uh, I hope people just tweet at you all day just the obscure things. Hey, I bought a hot dog. Got some rewards. Hey, bought a Diet Coke today. Got some hey, rewards. Please do um, that. I think the only place <laughs> that I'm uh, particular on rewards are Hy-Vee and Target. Hy-Vee and Target. Yeah, Hy-Vee for the gas. Hy-Vee Target the because... Gas. Targets? What's Target's rewards? Yeah, I didn't know like? this. Uh, if you spend a certain amount, you get in your Target uh, circle or whatever yeah. they call it these days. Oh, yeah, the red. Oh, nice. And then you'll show up one day and they're like, hey, you got $25 on your Target rewards or whatever. Yeah. Uh, TL3 says the Mega Saver near my house, 77th and L, is great. <laughs> the one on 72nd and Harrison. Maybe this that. is our maybe this is our bracket next year. 72nd and Harrison. Is, that's Ooh. a great idea. Yeah. So the one on 72nd and Harrison, he says, is two dollars more expensive for a six pack. Location, location, location. <laughs> that's what it's all about. Hold on here. I I think I think next year 70, during I don't the, know where 77th and L during the dance. It's uh, right by the. Um, there's a Sonic. Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Gas station bracket. Best gas station in Omaha. What would, what would we have you enough, great, you graded on enough teams? Various criteria. Well, there's still some like cleanliness, bathrooms, like, across location. the street. That guy's been taking care of us for years. They're great over there. Yeah. I have no problem saying He would that. be in the bracket. But yeah. Aves, but it would be like by location, one, too. One seat? Yeah. Who, what, what would be the one seeds in the gas station bracket? Uh, those Andersons, which are not as large, but they are like on center Dodge. and Dodge. Yeah. They always are nice. Oh, I agree. That Very might clean. be a, a one seed. I agree. There's many good QTs out there. I think there's a there cleaning. Is. If there's a cleaning company in the city, they could make a fortune off just going to gas station and saying, we'll clean your bathrooms for you. <laughs> well. I think they that's on the employees. Remember, they yeah. have the thing on the door that you're supposed yeah. to mark. You go I, in there I, every, I, hour. Yeah. But every hour. But as we as we've discussed <laughs> today, uh, not necessarily always done to to the nines. I like that. We're gonna we'll have a we'll have a gas convenience store bracket in Omaha. Just lock it away. Lock it away for next year. I mean, 
Sarah Baker Hansen had the wings About bracket. 330 more yeah. days. We'll discuss. Now we'll have the gas we'll station. do the gas station bracket. Oh, wait, Is uh, gas station bracket dot com available? Oscar's wings. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, that I, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. It's very good wings. You said Jimmy? Is gas station bracket dot com an available domain? <laughs> She somehow Sarah got a Omaha Wings bracket. Oh, I think we'd all I think we'd all want to uh, we'd want to put it on sixteen twenty the zone dot yes where you can find all your radio replays of course and various other things. I mean, sign up for email. You might get it first to know that we are having this uh, contest. Yep, exactly. Well, who would be the Cinderella possibly in the gas station convenience store? Uh, that bracket? is the million dollar question. <laughs> could it be our, our our friends across the street? I mean, uh, probably not well known well, about around the vast Omaha area. In order to do this as well we have to kind of set borders uh, around the town and then we yeah. might have a bit of a discussion on what's Omaha. Maybe that's how we do the bracket and yeah. what's By not region. Omaha. So we could be delving into some very questionable territory here. Well, there's more. I've noticed more the independent metro gas station convenience stores in North and South Omaha, uh-huh. but we have to include them because some of them are mom and pop shops. But what do we do with like some I 80 stops? You know, all the way getting out to to Gretna. Like, is that where Omaha ends at uh, exit four twenty six or whatever it is, or four thirty two? Four thirty two. There is a popular uh, QT right off of uh, eighty there on three seventy. Yes, there is. I like that one. That would be a good. That would be a high seed for me. Right next to uh, Jimmy Allen's podcast studio. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> should, should people visit the Jimmy Allen podcast studio? Our friends, uh, One Tree Yoga, are about to stop by here in a minute to be interviewed. Very good. Wow. Very good. One Tree oh, Yoga. Right it's the one downstairs. Oh yeah, that's very popular. They have our. They take up our parking spot, dude. Uh, <laughs> like when I when I get here at six o'clock at night, it's like every car in that lot is for them. Load it up, baby. Now hold on, we'd have to have a stipulation because I don't think you include like uh, truck stops. No, absolutely not. I mean, there's a major truck stop that we just drove by. You think that would give them too big of an advantage, just the space that they have? I don't know if I would consider a truck stop a convenience store, though. Well, I mean, it's truck stop slash convenience store. Feels like it's doing too much to be considered a convenience store. (laughs) I don't know. There's a new new burrito place opened up at the uh, truck stop off of uh, 144th. Hello. The Sat Brothers one? Yeah, Sat Brothers. The Burrito Bros. Yes, I noticed the big billboard yesterday coming back from Warner. Burrito. That's been up there for a while. Has it? Yeah, yeah. I think I, guess so. I just haven't noticed. Maybe. Well, I don't go. I don't. I don't. Dr- I don't. I usually get off before then. Mm. So I came a different way from. Maybe Warner I'll Park do that yesterday. instead of Casey's. Oh yeah, Warner Park. Oh yeah, we we got Storm Chasers this weekend. I'm out at Warner Park for the first time tomorrow. Let's you, play ball. Are you doing the show from there? No. Oh okay. No, I got uh, the second, third, fourth job. Whatever. Should you're be doing it, it uh, today, so I can watch AJ Smith Shaver pitch for the Baby Braves. Come on, Sorry, Marty. Josh. <laughs> no, that's that's on us. We didn't. I, I know. We didn't think about that enough. But yeah, we'll get out there. Um, we'll get out there. Just yeah, it's warm up. The, the balloon bus needs a little help. J- needs a little juice. Is that what you're I saying? Think, uh, I think okay. the contestants yesterday didn't really know how it worked. Oh, don't worry. I'll get them going. I know you will. I'll get them going. I'm back. I'm. I'm. Back. I, I'm. I'm. Are if, you out there all weekend? Or yeah. Just, yeah. Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna get it rolling at Werner Park. I hate Gwinnett. <laughs> Gwinnett, <laughs> Gwinnett sucks. They did uh, yesterday. So they've got a they got some former major leaguers on the roster. I sent you the scorecard. We did. So Sandy Leone almost hit three home runs in one game out there. Oh, nice. I bet the minor leaguers. Uh, I bet the I bet the major league rehabbers really enjoy playing at Warner Park. They're like, uh, this place is a launching pad. Now <sighs> it's not so much a launching pad right now. You you're gonna want to yeah. re if you're gonna rehab in Omaha, rehab in Omaha in July or August because the wind is going straight out and you can put a couple balls onto that uh, onto that facility out there in left field, maybe over it yes. if you want to. It seems pretty hit, hit the merry go round a couple times. That'd be a foul ball. Oh, that's right, it is too far. It'd be a foul ball. That would that's not where you want to go. Go further. Go further go out, out the clubhouse. Yeah, go out to the clubhouse. Uh, Cody Decker hit one. Onto the roof of the clubhouse. That's one of the furthest I've seen it. Joey Gallo hit one over the walkway in right field, like, and it just kept going. I think Brewer Hicklin hit one over there over the deal last year. Um, Bellinger hit one over there as well. (laughs) Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I remember people used to tell the tale, like, remember when Glenn Davis, former major leaguer, played with the Royals? Big baby? Yes. Uh, Definitely that guy. (laughs) The white guy. Um, (laughs) Someone said he hit the scoreboard. Oh, that's a shot. We um, saw a couple go off the scoreboard last year. Um, uh, the scoreboard at Rosenblatt. 
which was behind oh, yeah. the bleachers yes. in left field. Okay, yeah. that's a pretty good that's um, a pretty good poke. I've also been told Jesse Quave has told the story of one day Ozzy Canseco. Remember when the light towers were like basically there wasn't much beyond the outfield wall where they yeah. had the Marbo Man and then you had the, the huge tall light towers. Yeah. In right field? Yeah, yeah. Ozzy Canseco hit one he like, hit the way up the light tower. Nice. Nice. He's playing for like the Louisville Cardinals or something. Well, we have uh we have Kyle Schwarber smacking one off the scoreboard at uh downtown. I think he christened that. That's just Did the difference between the... being no, pro you know what? And... He went one over the bullpen in right field. It didn't go off the it scoreboard. It didn't go off the scoreboard. It went over the bullpen. And remember the, the balls were I mean, it was it was the dead ball era. There was a guy last year for Xavier who hit one. In, so like, the, there's a gap in between the scoreboard and then the foul pole, mm-hmm. and then it goes out to Fahey Street. I swear to God, he hit Fahey Street. It probably bounced into the black on a on a hop. You know, <laughs> wow. You can you can get stuff going down the lines as we yes, always talk can. about oh, during as the we've summer. Seen the, yes. Lately in the College World Series, yeah, down the lines, it's it, it gets going pretty good. In the gaps, you're probably in a little bit of trouble unless you're Wyatt Langford or or uh, Tommy Tanks. <clears throat> uh, we did the math yesterday. It looks like Paul Skeens, if he stays on schedule and they don't have any games postponed, the 23rd he'll pitch in Omaha. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. I think I'll be wow. there that night. I think I'm scheduled to be there that it's a night. Tuesday night. I That's imagine it. you will hear about it if it is happening. Maybe you'll come on the show. Maybe the show will be out there and he could just drop by. Hi, Paul. Um, Let's have some talks. And, Remember us? And <laughs> judging by her activity, she is about to go spend a couple of weeks with him. Oh, hello. Judging by her activity, he reading the tea leaves um, because like her gymnastics career is over at LSU. Oh, and she said, I'm preparing for to go see my eight, long distance boyfriend for a while. Aww. As if people don't know who it is. <laughs> As cute. she pulls out the Pirates skeins jersey out of her closet there. That's nice. I can't wait. It's happening. Yep. That's the next uh, Taylor and uh, Travis for sure. Gary and Livy, round two, coming to a social media platform near you. Can't wait. It'll be very exciting. Oh, we need to include one. Here's a, a late entry into the future. Bracket. Uh, bracket. Uh, does hy get to play? Yes, yes, because they're standalone. Fast it's and fresh. Yes, of course. They have they great. Might be, they might be a number one seed. I've had a, I've had many delicious breakfast quesadillas from uh, from hy Fast and Fresh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. They're, they're, they're yeah. Fruit, watch out. Watch the out fashion, for the breakfast quesadilla. Fast and fresh isn't a gimmick. The fruit's always fresh. Too. Where do you get that quesadilla? Off the roller? Off the little heater? No, in the little slider deal, you know, where they put all the breakfast sandwiches and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, they make them in okay. the kitchen. Bring yeah, them they the slide them down there. All right. Watch out. Just watch out. Breakfast quesadilla. It's there for you. All right. That's the crossover. This is so much vlogging material. Yep. It really Nick, is. get the camera. Thanks, guys. Uh, that's Thanks, crossover Hep. powered by Everlevel Concrete Repair in Omaha at everlevelconcrete.com. It's Wednesday. We'll start things off next. That's the crossover. The Connor Happer Show is next on 1620 The Zone. Previously on Unsportsmanlike Conduct. Chris Fetters covering the Washington Huskies joins us. Gannon was in Palm Springs last night with the president of the university and the new football coach that he hired for a major donor event. Literally, that thing wrapped up, and I have to expect that right after that happened, Gannon was in the middle of trying to finalize this deal at Nebraska. Unsportsmanlike Conduct with John Bishop and Josh Peterson. Weekdays 2 to 6 on 1620 The Zone. Your Omaha area forecast from a Godfather's Pizza Weather Center and KETV Newswatch 7 on 1620 The Zone. Another mild day ahead for Wednesday. Expect partly sunny skies for the majority of the day. Southwest winds will shift more northwesterly in the afternoon. Not too breezy with gusts 15 to 20 miles per hour possible. Can't rule out a stray sprinkle after 4 p.m., but most will stay dry. Highs in the low 70s. I'm meteorologist Sean Everson from KETV Newswatch 7. Start your engines. Joe's Indoor Karting in Council Bluffs is off the charts crazy. Joe's Karting is fast-paced, adrenaline-pumping, wheel-to-wheel racing action at over 40 miles per hour. The only speed restriction on these cards is how good you are. Joe's Karting is located just a couple of blocks north of Bass Pro Shop and directly east of AMC Theater in Council Bluffs, Iowa. Go watch a movie. Come race at Joe's. Planning a bachelor party, graduation party, or just a night out with friends. Go to Joe's. Remember, Joe's Karting is your place to race. Progressive presents advice on new teen drivers. You know, the hardest part about teaching your teen to drive is the chafing from the seatbelt. But the best part is 
to the grip strength you build in your knuckles. Okay, now let's pull out of the driveway. Here's another tip. Offset a chunk of the cost of adding a team to your insurance with Progressive's Team Driver Discount and get a break from the break. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates not available in all states or situations. Locally owned and family owned, Jensen Tire and Auto knows you work hard for your dollar. So we sell our tires at the best prices in town. We'll even match any local competitor's price on any tire we carry. Check out our deals at JensenTireAndAuto.com. We're going abroad for the first time in years. To Spain. But we don't speak Spanish. So we started using Babbel. And started learning Spanish fast. With Babbel, you can start having conversations in another language in just three weeks. Babbel's conversational method teaches you real-life words and phrases. And with Babbel's interactive bite-sized lessons, you'll remember what you learned. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿De dónde eres? ¿De dónde eres? When you learn a language, you want to actually use it. Babbel is designed with that goal in mind. In just three weeks, we're starting to have conversations in Spanish. Estoy muy emocionado para ir a España contigo. Aw, he just said, I'm very excited to go to Spain with you. Nos vamos a divertir mucho. And that means we're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> sí. Gracias, Babbel. Babbel, language for life. Celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold. Now try Babbel for free at Babbel.com. Just go to Babbel.com and start learning a new language today. That's Babbel.com. B-A-B-B-E-L.com. This is the sound of a racing heart. It's beating a little faster because it belongs to a young child. But this child isn't in the middle of a close soccer game or playing with her puppy in the yard. Her heart is racing because she's just been told she has to move foster homes again. Change a child's story. There's a child waiting for a volunteer like you. Contact NebraskaCasa.org. Paid for by Nebraska Casa. Guys, let's have a conversation. Let's say you've been losing interest in your spouse. You got low libido. You can't focus on things. And you're wondering, what is going on? It may be low testosterone. Mentality is here for you. With their FDA-approved testosterone treatment, the board-certified physicians who work with most insurance companies, they can diagnose the symptoms of low testosterone and take care of it. Schedule an appointment today. Go to the website, lowtusa.com. Take back your life, men. Mentality, lowtusa.com. Whether it's food for meetings or company events, Easy Cater has everything you need to make food for work work. And that means all you have to do is sit back and take credit. Mm, wow, a vegan and a meat lover taco bar? Jill, you're the best. Oh, all I did was use Easy Cater. Take the credit, Jill. Well, I guess I sort of... Take it. Invented taco bars. Too far, Jill. Too far. Easy Cater has everything you need to make food for work work. 100,000 restaurants, one platform. Order 24-7 at easycater.com. It's the Connor Happer Show. Are we sure we want to do this? Uh, could you, like, make an announcement that we're ready? It's the Connor Happer Show on 1620 The Zone. All right, welcome in. Happy Wednesday. It's the Connor Happer Show on 1620 The Zone and on 1620thezone.com. Connor Happer, Josh Odson with you. Good morning, everyone. We are, uh, you know, if we don't get to do coaching search season ourselves anymore, which hopefully we don't have to, you know, bust out the wheel anytime soon for the sake of Nebraska or anybody else. Oh, locally, yeah, no, no. Would hate that. I do like to vicariously watch other people's coaching searches and specifically the fan bases who, you know, are known for being a little over the top. So a little wackadoo. How about? Can I interest you in a Kentucky basketball coach search, Josh? I've already seen so many flight trackers yes. of a flight going from Waco, Texas to Lexington, Kentucky, and it's almost there. And there's TV crews at the airport potentially waiting for Scott Drew, Kentucky's next potential head coach. I would watch this, yes. In Lexington. Yeah, okay. So we'll keep an eye on that one today. Uh, welcome to the show. Robin Washer will join us in a couple minutes. Uh, we'll talk a uh, little hoops portal stuff with him and some football. Mitch Sherman at the bottom of the 11 o'clock hour. And it's Wednesday. And at noon, we'll open up the tweet bag. Send us your tweets at Happer Show on the JTEC Construction Zone Twitter feed or anywhere else you'd like to get in touch with the show. And uh, we will open that thing up at noon. Elsewhere on the show, we'll talk about Daniel Kalen. Oh, Daniel Kalen. 
Did you see him? He Did was throwing, slinging it. He was throwing. People were catching. It was accurate. That's good. Uh, I have a couple questions um, about some of the trends going on in society right now. The Royals have placed me in an emotionally compromised position. I would love to really dive into this today. That's good. We will. Uh, we will have some time for it. Um, we might talk a little bit about the uh, almost four hour Creighton UNO baseball midweek game last night. Uh, Creighton earning some respect. Jackson Holiday going to the big leagues. Uh, there's a proclamation from our local government that might be of interest to Josh Odson. Oh, really? Um, and maybe we'll get video today of John Calipari calling the hogs. That's it, the dream, right? Could it possibly be more awkward than when Dana Altman did it more than 15 years ago? Could be. Could be. I think we're going to find out. We are about to find out, and it's going to be a lot of fun, and the Tyson chicken guy will be right next to him the entire time. <laughs> Partners in crime. Uh, 402-951-1620. If you want to get in touch with the show, that's the 42 Degrees of Source hotline. Call us. Text us there. Email Connor, Josh O at 1620thezone.com on the Equitable Bank Zone inbox. Like I said, Twitter at Happer Show at Connor Happer on the JTEC Construction Zone Twitter feed or at producer underscore Josh. Um, and we say good morning to our uh, YouTube streaming audience. Hello, everybody. This morning, 1620 The Zone TV on YouTube or... As I always say, conveniently located on our website, 1620thezone.com. Just a click away, just hit that Zone TV button, and it's there for you. Yippee says, sup. Sup, hat. I say, sup to you, yippee. Sup, yippee. Sup, yippee. Also, you'll be noticing Josh's hat. Josh kind of looks like an angel sent from heaven this yeah, morning. Is, is That's how too- I feel about him every day, oh. but he's he's got a glowing hat today. Yeah, is it too, is it too distracting? <laughs> Do I need to take it off? Oh, well, somebody's already commented. It says, uh, Charles said, sweet lid. Oh, thank you. Josh thank you, went with the uh, low crown fitted. Yeah, low crown fitted. I was a little worried. I didn't do that on purpose. But, I think it uh, looks good on you. Yeah I, th- yeah. I think I think you got it figured out there. The low crown might be the look for Josh Odson. I like the results. It's pretty, it's pretty sharp. So that is the uh, setup today for the show. We welcome you to it. Of course, we have plenty on spring ball coming up today. Uh, we'll talk football with both of our guests and uh, various other things that we'll get into. But once again, get your questions in for the tweet bag, which is coming up at noon. We will uh, start things off. A couple things from last night. Get you caught up on what you need to know for today before Robin joins us at the top of the hour. It's the Connor Hamper Show on. 1620 The Zone. Now live on Twitch, YouTube, and 1620TheZone.com. There's no better thing than to help others in their time of need. John Bishop here to invite you to be an organ and tissue donor at goodguyssavelives.com. Anyone can register, regardless of age or medical condition. Donor hearts and lungs save lives. Donor tissue makes recovery from surgery easier. Next time you renew your license, check that organ and tissue donor box or visit goodguyssavelives.com. Learn more about organ donation today and see how you can save eight lives at goodguyssavelives.com. When you keep a car for a long time, it becomes a classic. When you keep your air conditioner for a long time, it becomes, well, let's just say it doesn't get better with age. Call Standard Heating and Air Conditioning and have your old air conditioner checked out. If it's needed, you can have a brand new carrier air conditioner installed in no time with fast and easy financing. When the other companies send salesmen, Standard sends qualified technicians. It's just part of the way we do the things we do. Carrier, turn to the experts. Roofing, siding, and gutters. Make the right call with the Rooferees at John Higgins Weather Guard. Hi, we're the Goo Goo Dolls. We're fortunate that we can give our daughters everything they need to grow and learn. But not every child can focus on classes and play dates. Nearly 13 million kids in the U.S. face hunger. That's one in six. School lunch might be their only meal each day. And it's heartbreaking to imagine any child going to bed hungry. We're dreaming of a perfect day when kids can smile, play, and just be kids without worrying about where their next meal will come from. Feeding America is working to make that perfect day a reality. Each year, the Feeding America network of food banks rescues billions of pounds of good food that would have gone to waste. That food is given to families and children in need. Being a kid should be about doing things that make an ordinary day extraordinary. Learning to play an instrument, building a sandcastle, hosting tea parties. Hunger should never be an obstacle to growing up. You can help end childhood hunger in your community by visiting feedingamerica.org. 
Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. We're going abroad for the first time in years. To Spain. But we don't speak Spanish. So we started using Babbel. And started learning Spanish fast. With Babbel, you can start having conversations in another language in just three weeks. Babbel's conversational method teaches you real-life words and phrases. And with Babbel's interactive bite-sized lessons, you'll remember what you learned. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿De dónde eres? ¿De dónde eres? When you learn a language, you want to actually use it. Babbel is designed with that goal in mind. In just three weeks, we're starting to have conversations in Spanish. Estoy muy emocionado para ir a España contigo. Aw, he just said, I'm very excited to go to Spain with you. Nos vamos a divertir mucho. And that means we're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> sí. Gracias, Babbel. Babbel, language for life. Celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold. Now try Babbel for free at Babbel.com. Just go to Babbel.com and start learning a new language today. That's Babbel.com. B-A-B-B-E-L.com. I forgot to mention this. When you participate in the tweet bag today, you have an opportunity to win $50 to cops. Whoa, hello. Yeah, I should have mentioned that right off the top. $50 to cops is up for grabs. All you have to do is send us your tweet on the tweet bag, which we will open up at noon. So there's your incentive today. Here's a little incentive for Josh to to wake up. By the way, how are you feeling today? You, you feeling any better? Uh, oh, have we gone deeper? I don't know. It, okay. It's it's different. It's shifted. I got a little... I, something's going on with me, too. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I, 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 it got... Tis the season. Yeah, I got a little runny nose and oh, things of that nature last night during this baseball game. So... But the window wasn't open. How could the allergies get to you? I don't know. I don't know. I feel bad for John mostly, who was in a he was basically quarantined with me for four hours <laughs> last night. Uh Josh, I here here's something to to perk you up a little bit. Okay. Uh you are of politics, of course. Uh sure. Formerly of politics. Let me read you uh legislative resolution four seventy two from the Nebraska government. Oh yeah, let's get into it. Love the love the bills. Got a few things for you. Uh, here's what the bill says. Whereas the National Collegiate Athletic Association three point contest is an annual basketball challenge that brings together some of the nation's best shooters. And whereas on April fourth, twenty twenty four, in Phoenix, Arizona, the University of Nebraska Lincoln's Casey Tomanaga won the men's National Collegiate Athletic Association three point contest. And whereas out of the eight participants, Tomanaga scored 25 points in the first round, 24 points in the second round, and 19 in the finals. And whereas Tomanaga beat Tyler Thomas of Hofstra University in the finals by two points with a buzzer beater. And whereas the legislature recognizes Casey Tomanaga's dedication to basketball and all the hard work it takes to achieve success. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the members of the 108th Legislature of Nebraska second session, that number one, the legislature congratulates Casey Tominaga for winning the Men's National Collegiate Athletic Association three-point contest, and two, that a copy of this resolution be sent to the aforementioned Casey Tominaga. Josh, your thoughts on official government recognition from your favorite basketball player Casey Tominaga winning your favorite competition which is of course the three point contest look <laughs> why don't you guys make my property taxes a little, a little better oh, come on we can do other things too can we, we Connor we can do <laughs> can we I think it's great that uh, a player like Casey gets recognized in an official manner by our state's government. He's one of our own. He's one of our own. He's a he's a Nebraskan forever now. Although he comes from Japan, he is now a Nebraskan forever because of this resolution. He's ours, absolutely. He is ours, and I think it's uh, I think it's great that we're still talking about the three point contest a week later. <laughs> I think it's great. I think it's great that some nobody in our 
state's legislature decided, hmm, how can I kiss the governor's ass? Hmm, hmm, I'll do a Husker thing. What's the Husker thing that I can do? Hmm, oh, this this Kese guy, I'll, uh, I'll, he want to... He won a shootout. I'll, uh... He did. He won a shootout. He won a shootout. He won it convincingly. He won it with some flair. He got two chains afterwards. Did they not? Uh, now, did they not make a declaration for when he won the big, the the, the overall three point shootout when he beat the girl? Apparently not. Interesting. Interesting. They must have turned off their televisions before that. <laughs> Doc on the text line has this to offer. Hi, Doc. What's the, up, Doc? The obsession with Tomonaga is sick. Oh, wow. Great take, Doc. And then he adds, we all know if this was not a Japanese player, no one would care. Whoa. I never said that. Doc said that. I never said that. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. I think if he was black or white, it would it, we would love him the same. I think if he was uh, Latino. Yes. The, the, Latino. Yes. It was if Would he was that. any any descent. Dutch. If, <laughs> yes. If he was of any descent, it, it, we would love him the same. I don't think that's true, Doc. We do we do like Kesei Tomonaga. Is our obsession with him sick? No. No, it's not. It's great and it's warranted, and I think he should get his number retired. I'm glad there's no other issues impacting this state to where we have time to not even it's not even doing anything. It's just we want it on the record that this happened. It did, yeah, it's 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 not really a declaration at all. Like you're not. I, I was waiting for the point in the uh, that the legislator would announce the, the legislation would announce that henceforth today would be known as Kese Tomonaga yeah. Day yeah. or or we're giving him we're, a key to the a city. key to the city or something yeah. like that. You're right. No, no, not it's just here is the acknowledgement it and happened. please also number two. Send this resolution to Kese Tomonaga, wherever he may be. We don't have his address, but hopefully this gets to him. <laughs> Maybe just send him this tweet like it's an NFT. Also, someone explain whereas to him. <laughs> yeah, that's going to that's gonna be really confusing for a person who doesn't know English that well. Why are they saying whereas what, what so is much? What's that word? Therefore, I don't even know what that word is. Yeah. I obviously can't spell it on Twitter. <laughs> and so I'd like to say... I'd like to officially recognize, whereas on April 10th, 2024, on the Connor Happer show on 1620 The Zone, that producer Josh is triggered. I'm so triggered, you guys. <laughs> this is, oh my God, I'm so triggered. You seem triggered. You seem triggered. I'm trying to be less reactionary. Uh, James Hi, on James. YouTube, who has a picture of What's this picture? Is there? Is that an old fashioned combined with a like a mudslide? I don't know what's going on in that cup. Anyway, the James, Unicam. Tell us what's in that cup. The Unicam must have fi fixed all other problems. Awesome job. Eye roll emoji. No, that that wasn't part of it. It wasn't. <laughs> no, it was. <laughs> I agree. Awesome job. Good job by the Unicam as always. So Josh is triggered. And that's how we start the show today. Aren't they in like a special session where they have a limited time right now to do quite literally anything? No idea. I no, no idea what's going on over there. I get it. You got to talk to more of your government people. Okay, Josh. Um, today in the show, I would like to. Um, so here's here's the territory that we are now embarking on as it pertains to Nebraska football and their spring practice. So we're, we'll, we'll talk about Daniel Kalen today. We'll talk about quarterbacks. In general, today in a, in a in a different sort of way, um, but I I want people to be aware of this. We're less than three weeks away for the spring game, and it is almost time for that moment in spring ball where we start to wonder who sucks and who's good, like offense defense, and do does the team that sucks suck because the other side is good or is the side that's good only good because the other side sucks? Are you prepared for that conversation? Um, no, I guess I wasn't. Oh, yeah. Get, get ready for it. But yeah, you're right. Get ready for it. And should we grade quarterback play from the 30 seconds that we see of practice on once a week or whatever it might be? Yes. Um, with a different sort of floor, considering that we have the understanding 
at least the knowledge that the defense is halfway decent this year, at the very least halfway decent. Or does the defense actually suck because the quarterbacks are good? Who knows? I'm just saying, get ready for that conversation. It's coming. It is indeed coming. Uh, last night, um, we about hit the old-fashioned four-hour mark at the Creighton-Omaha uh, baseball game. In my opinion, I think it should have gone five hours. You would have liked another hour? I would have liked another hour. I would have at least liked it if we went over the four-hour mark, just like the good old days of midweek college sure. baseball. Sure. What happened? What happened to the times where, you know, 337 was a normal midweek college baseball game, and you weren't, you know, we 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 were triggered about four-hour games, but now, we, I mean, we're so spoiled. I think kids these days, myself included, so spoiled going to three and a half hour baseball games and thinking, oh, this is dragging. This is really, really long. You don't know pain. You don't know pain. You haven't walked uphill both ways to school in the snow or in the 150 degree heat. So I say, dang, why didn't we go over four hours last night? You were so close. Grayton left uh, 17 people on base last night. They almost got walked off on a grand slam in the bottom of the night by by Omaha. Um, but there was a lot of uh, a lot of local dignitaries there to see it, including Frankie Fiddler, who's in the transfer portal and is making his announcement at 8 o'clock on Monday on Sharp and Hanley. I can't believe he didn't get any hint on the front end. Like, hey, I'm, I'm not going to have to duck for cover after this, am I? <laughs> He's going in. He's going in blind. Just like everybody else. Oh man, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see what happens on uh on that. But yeah, a uh, little 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 almost four hour baseball game last night. And uh, you know, Creighton keeps rolling. Creighton's will twenty five out of thirty. Yeah. Twenty five out of thirty, Josh. And by the way, I don't think I don't think Omaha's that bad. And they're eight and twenty one. They've played better baseball. They're six and six in the in the summit league. If you look at every, just you know, bear with me for like a minute of, of uh summit league baseball talk here. Please. Everybody, I mean, I've seen South Dakota State, I've seen North Dakota State, I've seen Omaha twice now. Um, and you know, Oral Roberts does not seem like they are going to be we, we have already, you know, that's that's four out of the six teams in the baseball league as of this moment. Haven't that's seen right. St. Thomas yet. Um, you know, although you know beat them two out of three over the weekend. Like you're gonna look at UNO's record and be like, I'm not I'm not particularly interested. They're eight and twenty one. They have as good of a chance to make the NCAA tournament as they ever have. I mean, that doesn't that doesn't mean yeah. that they're good. That doesn't mean you know. I, I I look at the rest of that league and I'm like, well, why can't you and I win it? So why not us? Right? They could they could do that. Creighton could, um, you know, for, why fight it? On, on the flip side of that coin, you know, we talk about baseball teams and and you know, Creighton missed the Big East tournament last year. Um, you know, on the last weekend, and they really that they, they were they were in first place. Second place, kind of jostling for first, second the entire year with UConn, and then they struggled the last three weeks of the year, and then got completely left out of the Big East tournament. I mean, it it, it gets it gets pretty tight in there pretty quick. So um, for Creighton, who feels really good about themselves, they beat Butler two out of three over the weekend, and they've won twenty five out of the thirty games so far, and their RPI is good. Also, at the same time, you're like we, the margin for error between winning the conference. And getting left out of the conference tournament is like, you know, it's razor thin. And so it could work to an advantage for a team like Omaha, who I I don't, you know, they're right in the pack there. And Creighton now the expectation of the Big East, because they're because they've won 25 out of 30 games, because they're 25 and five, is like, okay, well, go and go and win the Big East this year. Not that easy. It's the same thing for Nebraska. You know, the really good RPI. To start the year. Now there's a little bit more wiggle room for them to make the conference tournament, obviously. And I know that the expectations for baseball around here is like, hey, it's not just make the conference tournament. It's you got to make the NCAA tournament, but you got to make the conference tournament first. And so like the margin for error for some of these schools locally is 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 pretty razor thin. Um, but I, I do think there's a halfway decent chance that we could see we could be seeing all those teams um, you know, playing competitive baseball and, and playing important baseball games. In the uh, middle to late stages of May, which is uh, which is a good thing for our local baseball teams. Uh, John emails in on the Echo Bank inbox. Hi, John. Seventeen runners left on base. Was this a twenty-three inning game? Nope, just nine. 
Regular old nine. Just nine. And by the way, that was Creighton leaving 17 runners on base. I think Omaha left. Well, they left the, they had a guy on, I want to say they left 15 or 14 or something like that. My God, man. (laughs) It's a lot of runners left on base, Josh. Yes, indeed it was. Uh, Also today, I'll be receiving my uh, pimento cheese sandwiches, which I'll be eating for the next two weeks. Oh, let's go. I mean, you walked outside this morning and you were like, hey. Omaha left 12 on base. Omaha left 12 on base. Thank you. 29 total. So um, you walked outside this morning and you're like, whoa, the sun's out. It's over 60 degrees or it's in the high 50s right now. Eh? Is it time to get out the sticks? It's the perfect week for this to happen because the Masters is. is here. We're we're looking at 80s this weekend. Yeah. Both days. Yeah, we are. We are going. Baseball is back. So I think the uh, the transition is is being made right now. And, and by this time next week, we'll be all in on baseball. And I have some things to say about my favorite Kansas City Royals right now. I am scared. Love to hear. Them. I've never been. I've never been this. I haven't been this scared in a long time. Ooh. Really? What? 11 games in the season. I'm already freaking out, losing my mind because they don't usually start off seasons. Well, uh, anyway, so we'll get to that a little bit later in the show. We'll talk. Uh, we'll, we'll delve in deeper to the who's good, who's bad. Daniel Kalen, that whole part of it. And um Various other things today on the show. We'll come back with Robin Washett of Husker Online. Uh, Nebraska ball on the portal. Some football stuff as we return in the Connor Happer Show on 1620 The Zone. But first, a uh, reminder to sign up for the VIP Club, 1620 The Email. When we put together our gas station bracket for next year, you'll be the first to know if you sign up for the VIP Club. Um, also, you know, daily and weekly uh, of our best segments will be sent direct to your inbox. Sign up for the email list. Please do it. 1620thezone.com. Live from the Host Coffee Studio, this is 1620 The Zone. Need tires but can't get away? Or is your company fleet plagued by unscheduled downtime? Check out Jensen Mobile Express Services at jensentireandauto.com. The easiest way to get new tires delivered and installed at your location. Jensen. The Zone Hotline is powered by 42 Degrees, the source, by your mom's house. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online at hymns.com slash radio. Through Hims, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you. Discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and a range of treatment options, including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands, at up to 95% off. ED is personal, and at Hims, so is treating it. Just go to Hims.com slash radio and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free. With zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash radio. That's hymns.com slash radio for your free online visit. H-I-M-S dot com slash R-A-D-I-O. Email us on the Equitable Inbox with whatever is on your mind. The Zone Inbox is brought to you by Equitable Bank. We take banking personally. You can hit me up, agree, disagree, tell me your thoughts on life at Hanley at 1620thezone.com. We want to hear from you on the Equitable Bank Zone Inbox. Nominations for the Step Forward Awards are now open. These awards are the state's most prestigious awards for volunteerism, and we need your help to find outstanding volunteers from your region of the state. If you know a volunteer who deserves to be honored for their service, visit serve.nebraska.gov and click Nominate Now. Made possible by sponsors like Omaha Public Power District. Nominations must be submitted by June 1st. Paid for by Serve Nebraska, aired by the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. Omaha Kings FC, Omaha's professional Major League Indoor Soccer team, welcomes the 2024 MLIS League Finals to Omaha's Baxter Arena. Join the Omaha Kings and Chicago Mustangs April 12th at 7 p.m. with two back-to-back semifinal matches starting at 5 p.m., but only one ticket needed for both games. The first match is scheduled for five, then it's the championship match on Sunday, April 14th at 2 o'clock. Tickets at Ticketmaster.com, the Baxter Arena box office, or by calling 402-554-MAPS. Get your tickets now. 
More than 80,000 people in Douglas County experience food insecurity. So local scouts are collecting food across the metro during this year's Scouting for Food Drive. In partnership with United Way of the Midlands and sponsors Warner Enterprises, Target, and Bakers, scouts will collect donations on Saturday, April 13th in local neighborhoods and also from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Target locations at 168th in Maple, 180th in Center, 120th in L, and 72nd in Dodge. For more information, visit macbsa.org. Baseball season is here again, and Tickets for Less has another reason for you to root for the Royals all season long. When Kansas City scores seven or more runs in a game this season, you can get 7% off your next ticket purchase at ticketsforless.com. Simply use the promo code ROYALS7 at checkout the day after the Royals score seven or more runs to redeem your discount. But be sure to act fast. The code will expire at the first pitch of the next scheduled Royals game. Learn more today at ticketsforless.com slash Royals. Tickets for less. Best seats, best prices, no service fees. Shop ticketsforless.com. KOZ and Bellevue, Omaha, Council Bluffs. This is 1620 The Zone. The biggest basketball coaching convention of... You can work on your stroke. Oh, you what? You don't what is going on robin are you okay robin wash it are your kids near you or what just happened husker online i took a lot of preparation to make this thing a, a flawless interview and clearly i still can't avoid it robin wash it husker online maybe it was aliens maybe it was a phenomenon that we can't explain the connor happer show on 1620 the zone I wonder if uh, John Calipari will show up to the biggest basketball coaching convention uh, with uh, with a hog head on, or he'll maybe he'll be with the Tyson Chicken guy, and they'll uh, you know start throwing out million dollar NIL offers to uh, anyone he sees out there. So Robin Washington joins us on the forty two degrees source hotline. Robin, good morning. How are you? Good morning. I think uh, he and Jerry Jones are just going to roll around and uh, <laughs> hang out with Darren McFadden and you know just do do the whole Arkansas thing. Awesome. Yeah, that's Arkansas. When I when I when I think of Arkansas, I think <laughs> Jerry Jones, Darren McFadden, and then you know and then... Corliss Williamson. How about that? <laughs> nice. I like that. Uh, that sounds like the plan. Hey, but l- let's do that first. Um, there will be. We're, there will now be a domino effect. There will be some some moving pieces, as there already has been with a couple coaching jobs around the country. Um, you know, Nebraska gets to stay clear from that this year, which is good. But I mean, I, I'm really interested to see not only what happens at Kentucky, but the long line of domino effect that'll happen off of that um, off of that move by Calipari. Yeah, I mean, the I guess tea leaves right now. It's- According to uh, the, the internet machine, is that uh, uh, Scott Drew from Baylor is probably going to the, be the leading candidate right now for Kentucky, but things quickly change there. And then obviously, if he leaves, then that Baylor job opens up. And uh, that is a very appealing thing that's going to attract some top candidates. And then, so, the, like you said, the ripple effect is just going to keep on going. When you get one of those blue bloods of the sport that suddenly becomes opening, that shakes things up. Um, on down the, the entire food chain of college basketball. So um, if it's Drew or, or somebody else, uh, you can pretty much count on there being a, a, a long chain reaction that uh, kind of disrupts quite a bit uh, of, of current basketball coaching situation. Did you, uh, so there was like a hot board that came out right away for Kentucky and Fred Hoiberg made, made one of them. Now, yeah, Fred's never, Fred wouldn't take that job and he wasn't, you know, going to be, you know, he wasn't going to be on the short list. I don't think for it, but I, I found it at least mildly interesting that his name popped up for that. And he's, he's now won a coach of the year at Nebraska. Like it, this is the position that you want to be in rather than the other way around where you're thinking about, you know, potentially making a move the other way at the end of every off season. But maybe, maybe it is time, Robin, that we tra- kind of transition our brains back to, Hey, if, if, if you coach well, and if you win games, other people are going to notice. And it's the consequence of success, especially at a program like Nebraska, where, you know, if you start winning there and, you know, do so in the way that Fred has, where, um, you know, he's really kind of built it from, from scratch in a lot of ways uh, and, and kind of had a, the, the pedigree with his NBA development and, 
obviously his, his NBA experience and his, his time at Iowa State. Like, there's a lot to like about that resume. And so, um, yeah, I, I do think that it, it wasn't a surprise that his name popped up. I also agree that I don't think he was ever really a legitimate candidate. And right now, I honestly don't know if Fred would want that kind of job. Um, no. you know, he coached at the highest level, and he kind of saw firsthand of uh, what comes along with that, with just the the different factors that are involved at a a basketball place like a Kentucky, you know, where uh, at this point in his career, I just don't know how appealing that that would be to him. Now, that being said, money always talks. And I can guarantee you, Kentucky's not only going to throw around a lot of money to pay their coach, but they're going to give that coach uh, immense resources um, as far as NIL goes to recruit the best players and, uh, you know, allow him to get in the, the, in the door with players that he never could here in Nebraska. So, um, you know, it's, uh, I'm sure there's some level of appeal to, to making that jump, but, you know, Fred's kind of been there, done that, um, you know, with his coaching in the NBA. And I think that he really likes it here in Nebraska and the fact that his parents still live here, like that's a really big thing for him. Yeah. The biggest reason why he came to Nebraska. And so I don't know if he's really jumping at the, the first opportunity to, to leave that situation. So, um, you never say never, but I would be surprised if he would make that move, especially for a job like Kentucky. Can you believe that one shining moment is a fraud and they use Joan Gary from the Big Ten tournament instead of the NCAA tournament? Well, what's really shocking about it is you got to wonder like how many times they've done that. I, I mean, know. Didn't know. It, it, like, it's we, all up for question now. Yeah, I mean, it, it really kind of jeopardizes the integrity of the entire one shining moment thing and that's that's really disturbing for me and I'm, I'm still processing it um on the on the other side of the coin for nebraska and 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 juan gary so last week they get him back bryce williams back uh they put out a video of them uh the them having that discussion or like a simulated version of that discussion so they're both back just on the on the roster um on the, on the potential returning guys from last year obviously that's a that's a big cue to get those two um where does the rest of it stand at the moment? We, you, you had a, a slew of exits. A couple guys have said they're, that they're coming back. Um, and then there's there's a few. Like we are, by the way, getting to the point where basically everybody on the roster, on a college basketball roster, is going to have to declare whether they're back or yeah. whether they're not back next year, um, which is kind of funny. But th- there's a couple still lingering out there. Like what do you think about some of those potential decisions? Yeah, rink mass is the big one. Um, you know, I talked to him by text this weekend and he said he still hadn't made a decision yet. And a big part of that eventual decision is going to be the, the situation with his, his knee. You know, obviously he had hmm. um, a relatively minor surgery in December, right after the Kansas state game forced him to miss a couple games, but he's able to come back, but he kind of just played through it. Like he was never fully healthy and Nebraska had to be really particular with how they manage his workload and practice um, to, to make sure that, you know, he could still perform um, at the highest level possible in games. And so that, that issue never really got resolved with that surgery he had in December. And so now the issue is he's got to figure out if he's got to have another procedure done um, to try to fully correct uh, the issue, at least as much as possible. And if he does, you know, to me, in a weird way, I think that benefits Nebraska as far as bringing him back because I think that would probably limit his yeah. immediate professional opportunities. And then, you know, there's also the incentive of using, um, you know, Nebraska's uh, sports medicine and, and all the resources they have here, which are some of the best in the country, um, and then also get to uh, play another year here and be a big factor. So there's a lot of positives about returning if that's the case. So. You know, but then if he does return, if you're in Nebraska, you just, just got to wonder, you know, how significant is that knee injury? How how dramatic is this procedure going to be for him? And how yeah. long is it going to keep him out? How long is it going to delay his recovery? And what will his impact be next year? So there's a lot of layers to it. But I think the the biggest domino here that needs to fall is whether or not he's going to elect to have um, you know that that next surgery. And so ultimately, I think that'll dictate it. I think he's trying to figure that out because that's that's a really big decision before he even makes the next decision about 
what to do with his basketball future. So, and then after that, um, I, I, I don't know. I don't see anybody else leaving at this point. You never say never. Um, crazier things have happened, but I do think that for the the roster is pretty much in place. Um, they don't have a lot of guys on the on scholarship right now, so right. there's not a lot of movement that could happen. But I, I do think that um, Rink Mass is probably the one question right now that that you're still waiting on. Does does him being sort of in limbo, Mass being in limbo? change the framework of of the picture that that andrew morgan walked into well if nothing else it gives nebraska the luxury of of having a guy that can spell rink more than he was able to last year because he has a lot of the same skill set at least offensively that rink does he's not quite the shooter but um you know he's a really uh polished offensive player at 6'10 245 that you know, if, if nothing else, you want to talk about just kind of the, the load management on mass, having uh, Morgan there as basically a, a carbon copy of what he does, it would be a nice luxury. And then, you know, worst case, if Rink has to miss some time or even significant time, you, you have a guy that does a lot of the same things that Rink did um, in, until he's ready to return. So that, if nothing else, just gives you the luxury of depth uh, to where you have a very similar player just in terms of size. Um, and, and skill and, and how he fits into the offense that can you know either you know bolster your depth where you have two guys to work with or if nothing else you know have a, another option to turn to if rink uh, has to miss any time or decides to go pro what else is, is Nebraska are they at the point where they're looking for specific things in the transfer portal or are they still? kind of in player acquisition, like we have to, they have a lot of roster spots to fill at this point, a lot of scholarships to fill at this point. Like, I guess what, what stage of the portal are we in and, and what are some of the names that are at least close to the top of the radar right now? I mean, they are, I mean, obviously they, they need to get guys, but I still think you don't stray from the method that you've used the last two off seasons where you are picky. And, and selective with not just the type of player you're getting, but the type of person you're getting. So I, I think that's going to continue to be a point of emphasis to where they're not going to just scramble and say, wow, we've got six open scholarships. Let's just take whoever says yes, because they did that the first three years and it was a total disaster. So I, I think that they're not feeling any sense of uh, you know panic at this point to fill the spots, but they are being extremely proactive because you know the, the clock is ticking. Uh, the portal closes May 1st, and um, you, know, you got to kind of get get the ball rolling on some targets, especially when you do have that many spots. So this weekend, uh, one of the things they need is shooting. And so they're bringing in uh, Gavin Griffith, the Rutgers transfer, six foot eight kid who was a former top 50 recruit um, in high school in the 2023 class. Didn't do a lot at Rutgers, but if you, his, his total freshman stats, Uh, don't, I think, really indicate where he was at the end of the season, where over the last 10 games, he had kind of started to turn it on a little bit and was looking more like the player everyone thought he was going to be when when he committed to Rutgers, he was the uh, highest-rated signee Steve Peichel had ever had. So, like, he's a big big name um, that kind of just got lost in the shuffle in that, that Rutgers system. And so he's visiting Nebraska, like I said, this weekend. He's visited Providence. And then it's kind of unknown what's going to happen after that. I do like Nebraska's chances there. Um, I'm not saying the commitment's eminent, but I think it just makes a lot of sense with his skill set, the Fred system, um, his length. You know, being a six-eight shooter, you know, that's that's kind of uh, you know makes sure Fred's eyes go go real wide when he watches the film on that one. So um, I think it's, it'd be a, a natural fit for both sides, and that would address one of their biggest needs. And then beyond that. I still think you need to add some more guards, um, probably more of a, a dynamic go-to score, um, you know, a guy that, uh, you know, is, is an elite level off ball guard that can just go make a play when the shot clock's running down. Cause right now I don't, I don't know if they have that guy, you know, Bryce Williams is probably the closest thing, but they, they need, I think someone that's probably, uh, a little, a little more proven in that regard. So, um, that's probably one of the top priorities. And then the next one beyond that, uh, is just, more more post depth, uh, you know. You have Morgan and maybe Mast, but neither of them really address kind of what Josiah Alec brought in terms of just the 
the athleticism, physicality down low. So um, you've seen names like Pharrell Payne from Minnesota. His name's got um, thrown out there a little bit. Um, and I think that's the type of player that they're, they're also trying to target, just a big, physical, athletic um, front court player that can uh, help them match up a little bit better with the Texas A&Ms of the world next season. What kind of, uh, what kind of role would Frankie Fiddler potential, potentially play at Nebraska? I mean, I'd see him a lot like a C.J. Wilshire, where you know, C.J. played anywhere from the two to the four, um, on just depending on the lineup and, and the opponent. Uh, you know, I think Frankie's got that versatile skill set where he can he can be a shooter, but he can also um, you know, he's added that element where he can get the ball to the rack uh, with his added strength. Uh, so he can do a lot of different things, similar to what C.J. Wilcher did, um, except Frankie's taller, probably a bit more athletic, and uh, you know, might might be a a little bit more versatile piece yeah. than C.J. Wilcher. Better scorer so, for but, sure. Yeah, so that that's kind of what I see. I see him, you know, playing. Um, starter or six man type type guy that uh, is going to play substantial minutes uh, and, and do a lot of different things. Uh, like I said, just depending on who was on the floor with them and, and who's across from them on the opponent's side. Uh, Robin, uh, one, one football thing before we let you go. So you, you got the chance to, to see it yesterday. Um, everyone, everyone has talked about Daniel Kalen and, and his, uh, his accuracy so far. Are you surprised that, that, that name is being mentioned right off the bat like this. We haven't gotten too far down the road and you know, who's going to do what at quarterback. Um, but the open session yesterday, everybody seemed to have the same, um, you know, kind of take away from it. Yeah. I, mean, I think there's two different conversations. I, I don't think much has changed in the expectation that Dylan rail was going to be the starting quarterback. I mean, obviously he's still got to go out there and seal the deal, but you know, People are guessing right now he'd probably be the consensus answer. That being said, you know I think Daniel Kalen has at least made the conversation a little more interesting. To where, you know, I'm sure people that watched him a lot more than I did in high school and you know saw him throw in person uh, more than I ever did you know, aren't probably shocked by uh, kind of what we saw yesterday. But you know, for guys like me that didn't get a chance to see him a whole lot, you know, he looked a lot better than I expected. I mean, he just kind of had a little bit more swagger and poise to him and, and his, his arm talent and just his physical size. Uh, I mean, he, he looks every bit the part of a guy as a true freshman that could come in and, and potentially, like I said, make things interesting. But uh, so his, his readiness surprised me, and I'm sure maybe some other people, but I don't know if it's necessarily changed the, the tenor of the, the quarterback conversation to where I, I still expect Dylan to be the guy come August. Robin Washett of Hus HuskerOnline.com. Robin, appreciate it as always. Uh, we'll let you go. Talk to you soon. Sounds good. See you guys. Robin Washett of HuskerOnline.com. Yeah, that'll be a th that'll be the framework sort of for the conversation that we that we have next here with Mitch Sherman. Brought it up on uh, on our podcast this morning, the Locked On podcast. Your podcast? It, my my podcast with Mitch Sherman. Our podcast. Wow. Um, but you remember when? Um, you know, 2018, Frost just got here, and he, he brought in Adrian Martinez. And Adrian Martinez, you know, everyone was like, "Yeah, well, the Adrian Martinez is going to be the guy. He's the guy that he that he brought along." But they had a guy that the previous staff thought really highly of, and he and he stuck around for the spring and much of the fall, and that was Tristan Jebbia. And I, my read on that situation at the time was that Tristan made it a lot more interesting than I think the staff was prepared for, and. I think this staff probably does a better job. Um, maybe not probably. Uh, this staff does a, a little bit better job of legitimately going into things in a more open-minded manner, um, not going in with any preconceived notions. Matt Rule talks about it quite often. And you take them at their word for it, but you know, you have you have five-star quarterback um, who's supposed to be kind of a you know program elevating type of guy, um, but maybe there's a chance that a situation like that unfolds this time around where you kind of know in the back of your head, what's going to happen and who's going to be the guy. But I think Daniel's response Danny's responsibility. And I guess to a certain extent, Heinrich's responsibility as well is to just make it hard, like make it really hard 
for everybody to be like, yes, definitely, this is the guy. And I, I think right now they're in the stage of everybody's getting reps and nobody is, you know, nobody's over the other because they're switching up teams so much. Everybody's working with everybody. Coaches talked about it um, last week. Offensive coaches talked about it last week, like the idea of, yeah, sometimes maybe you're the starting quarterback and you're going to walk out there with the third offensive line and the and the second group of wide receivers and the first group of running backs, and it's going to be just this hodgepodge of things. So there's no pecking order at this point. I really believe them when they say that, but they might have they they have a pretty good idea, I would imagine, in the back of their heads. However, when you do roll the ball out there for the spring game in two and a half weeks, somebody's going to have to take the first snap, right? And that'll that'll give us an idea of of where things are at. But I think the other quarterback's responsibility at this point is to kind of make it make it hard. So maybe we are trending down that road at this point. More on that exact idea with Mitch Sherman of The Athletic. He joins us on the other side on the Connor Happer Show on 1620 The Zone. You get a lot of junk in your inbox. This one, not junk, not junk at all. 1620 The Email. Exclusive content, contests, other stuff probably. Subscribe today at 1620thezone.com. Your Omaha area forecast from a Godfather's Pizza Weather Center and KETV News Watch 7 on 1620 The Zone. Another mild day ahead for Wednesday. Expect partly sunny skies for the majority of the day. Southwest winds will shift more northwesterly in the afternoon. Not too breezy with gusts 15 to 20 miles per hour possible. Can't rule out a stray sprinkle after 4 p.m., but most will stay dry. Highs in the low 70s. I'm meteorologist Sean Everson from KETV News Watch 7. More with Connor and Josh after this. We're going to have an extensive professional relationship, my man. On 1620, The Zone. It's easy to see the common signs of transmission trouble. If your engine revs before it falls into gear. If it seems to switch gears for no reason. So watch for the signs. Certified transmission. The job done right at the right price. At Progressive, we know money can't buy you happiness. But money did help you buy an RV which means an excuse from working Saturday with your insufferable coworker, Dave. So money is helping you listen to birds chirp instead of Dave chirping about how his toddler is fluent in three languages. And it's also why you'll be smelling pine trees in the air, not Dave's tuna melt reheating in a microwave. So save money by bundling your RV or boat insurance with home or auto from Progressive and buy more happiness or something close to it. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. With Spring Black Friday savings at the Home Depot, you can get up to $1,000 off select laundry appliances from top brands like LG, America's most reliable line of appliances. And with convenient shopping in-store and online, you can get new appliances with smart, intuitive features any way you want. Like a new LG wash combo all-in-one that can run a full load in under two hours. Right now, get $1,000 off select laundry appliances with Spring Black Friday savings in-store and online at the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Progressive presents advice on new teen drivers. You know, the hardest part about oh, teaching your teen to drive is the chafing from the seatbelt. But the best part is to the grip strength you build in your knuckles. Okay, now let's pull out of the driveway. Here's another tip. Offset a chunk of the cost of adding a teen to your insurance with Progressive's teen driver discount and get a break from the break. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates not available in all states or situations. Do you like to shoot fireworks? Would you like to get paid to shoot fireworks? JM Displays wants you. Help shoot an Omaha Storm Chasers game, Memorial Park Display, or any of the major shows in Western Iowa and all of Nebraska. If you like to travel, JM covers Nebraska, Kansas, and most of Missouri. They offer free training and great daily pay rates, which makes it a perfect part time job. Visit JMDisplays.com and click the Join Our Team tab to find out more. JM Fireworks. Are you the decision maker in your company? Consider this. For the first time in decades, there's a better option for a corporate card and spend management platform. Meet Ramp, the only corporate card and spend management system designed to help you spend less money so you can make more. Most corporate credit cards offer points as incentives, but those points amount to less than they're worth in real cash value. Ramp's corporate cards offer you cash back, real money in your pocket. Plus, you control who spends what with each vendor. And Ramp software collects and verifies receipts automatically, which means you'll stop wasteful spending and close your books in hours instead of days. 
Businesses that use Ramp add up to 5% to their bottom line the first year. If you're a decision maker, adding Ramp could be one of the best decisions you've ever made. And now, get $250 when you join Ramp. Just go to ramp.com slash sports. Ramp.com slash sports. R-A-M-P dot com slash sports. Currents issued by Sutton Bank and Celtic Bank members of DIC terms and conditions apply. Email us on the Equitable Bank inbox with whatever is on your mind. Zone inbox is brought to you by Equitable Bank. We take banking personally. You can get me, Gary, at 1620thezone.com. We want to hear from you on the Equitable Bank Zone inbox. Hi, everybody. I'm Gary Sharp for Lonely Clothing. The kids are telling me, and even adults, my fit is rad. You know why my fit is rad? Is because I'm going to Lonely Clothing. I'm letting them outfit me, and I'm also taking advantage of the final week of the annual spring sale. Get 15% off all sportswear, tailored suits, sports coats, buy one, get one half off, and also new to the Lonely Clothing family. This is a game changer. Listen up. Well suited. You can see for yourself how easy to shop for you or someone in your life just in time for prom, graduations, any special event. If I need a suit, I go there. Don't rent a suit. Buy a suit from Lindley Clothing and Well Suited. Who do you want to talk about first? Mitch Sherman. The Athletic. He can play. And we need people that can play. And we'll never be royal. Let me live that fantasy. Oh. Mitch Sherman. Oh. The Athletic. Oh. On the Connor Happer Show. On 1620, The Zone. You can play. All right. Well, the theme song, it feels good today. I'm trying to couch my really diving headfirst in as long as I possibly can. But as Mitch Sherman of The Athletic is well of the understanding, uh, the Royals don't usually have good Aprils, so this is putting me in a bit of a different position right now as he joins us on the 42 Degrees Source Hotline. Mitch, good morning. How are you? I'm well. I was just having a discussion with a fellow Royals fan about uh, our need now suddenly to get to Kansas City to attend a, a game. Mm-hmm. And going to have to look at the schedule. And, and I mentioned that I might have to wait until after the Nebraska spring game, which is on April 27th, just because then maybe my calendar will open up a bit. Um, and the response that I received was, that's putting an awful lot, because we want to do this when the Royals are, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, still relevant. You know, it's, it's great to go to a Royals game when they're over 500. It just adds to the, to the experience. And the response, of course, if we're going to wait till April 27th, which is all of uh, two weeks from Saturday, <laughs> uh, that's going to put an awful lot of pressure on the Royals to, to keep this going. Because that's... You just, I don't know if that's realistic, Connor. Uh, what do you think? It's a really good way to look at it because it, that's, that's basically the position that they have now put us in. Like, can just you're, you're asking for like, can we get one more week? Can we get one more week? And after that week, can we get, can we get one more week where it's sort of interesting? And I don't know if that's sustainable for, um, you know, like 30, whatever weeks of the baseball season, but, um, I I'm, I'm, I'm here now. So it's, it's begun. It's kind of like Royals fans are kind of like Nebraska basketball fans where you're just waiting, you know, when, when things are going well and it's like, wow, I mean, it's December and they're, they're like 11 and two. And, and then, you know, you see some projections that start to come out and they're going to make the NCAA tournament. It's like, no, no, no. When, when is this thing going to like completely <laughs> just fall apart? And <laughs> you want, and then it gets to February and you know, like, no, nah, it's going to happen. But I, I'm kind of still in that like November, December Me basketball too. mode here with the baseball season. I don't, I don't know if I trust it. I mean, you're starting pitching. They can't have the best starting pitching in major league baseball for six months. That's yeah. not, that is in no way realistic. It's impossible. You know? There's no chance of yeah. that. Yeah. But I'm enjoying the ride right now, even if it's only been, uh, you know, 11 games or whatever Great. it is. Uh, Mitch Maybe Sherman. the Astros is good, whether you're two and nine or 10 and four, whatever. But okay. I, yeah. I like so they always say like there's, there's 50, you know, if you split up the baseball season into thirds, there's a third of the games that you're going to win, a third of the games you're going to lose, and a third of the games that, that that'll determine how, how good of a, or bad of a season you have. And um, the Royals won a game last night that is in the third that they weren't going to win. So you're like, you're, yep. you're just stealing from the, from the other piles at this point, which is, I mean, once again, very, very different. Uh, my podcast co-host Mitch Sherman joining us now on the 42 degrees of source hotline. 
Uh, we're we're excited to bring that to you. By the way, just a quick like detour on that. Um, so we're doing it every day. So Mitch, Mitch, and I have already talked for thirty minutes about Nebraska football this morning, and so I think we're we're gonna have a good sense of where our where our brains are at. These conversations will still be uh, still be good, but you could check us out on the uh, on the Locked On podcast, Mitch. That was just a primer this morning. Now we're really talking. Now we're really talking. Um, okay, so let's um, let, let's let's piggyback on on one of those topics: quarterback play. As everybody got to got to take a look at least a little bit of um, of some guys throwing it around the yard yesterday. I, everybody's takeaway seems to have been um, that that Daniel Kalen kind of looks the part so far. Like, how much do we how much do we read into first of all, um, you know, th- that little of what we saw, but also what it could potentially mean for a quarterback race or any other position race? I guess at this point, I'm sure if somebody let's say you're a coach and you're hearing the the banter today or you're somebody you know equipment manager somebody who's knowledgeable about the game and has seen this team practice seven or eight times and the takeaways start to come out from the media that was inside the hawk center for all of like 20 minutes on on tuesday you just got to be thinking wow you know you (laughs) that's an awful we saw an awful small peak of what has happened, even in just this small piece of the off season. I mean, seven or eight practices in the spring is a, is it's like half the spring, but it's still, it's still a very small, I mean, you're going to do that in a week and two days in camp in August. And then that's just like the precursor, the lead up to the first game. So it's a really small bit of a, of a really small bit. And yet I think there's renewed optimism that Nebraska doesn't just have one quarterback, young quarterback who is positioning himself to be able to make an impact on this program that it might in fact have two. And maybe there were some in the, in the Nebraska universe who, who perhaps took Daniel Kalen for granted a bit because he was a local kid and wanted to come to Nebraska from the beginning and, and, you know, ended up in Lincoln in I'd say unusual circumstances, like yeah. committed to Missouri because it looked like Dylan Rayola was going to be a part of the class. And then Dylan wasn't going to be a part of the class. And then Dylan became a part of the class very late um, in the process. And, and at that point, Danny Kalen didn't have other good options. If, if Dylan had, had rejoined or had joined Nebraska, like in October, um, we might not see Daniel Kalen and maybe we would, maybe at that point he was so, um, excited about the prospect of being in Lincoln, that it was happening no matter what. But if it's possible, it's it's you know it's great for Nebraska that they got both of these guys, and they are both elite quarterbacks, and at the high school level. I mean, Danny Kalen, you know, he's from Bellevue West. I think if he was from if he was from Austin, Texas, or or, or Houston, Texas, um, maybe we would view him here a little bit differently. You know, don't take him for granted. He's one of the he was one of the better high school quarterbacks in the country last season, and he's he's practicing like that at least from the small sample we saw in lincoln let, let, let me ask the the so the kind of battle the two-headed battle between those two this way a- assuming that we're you know still barreling down the path of dylan Rayola being nebraska's starting quarterback this year which I, I i don't think we have much reason to believe that it won't be at this point um does that does that change um, at least I, I think it does from the fan base's perspective. Does it change the kind of, I guess, leash on, on Dylan Raiola or the, oh. the, the framework in which the, the fan base maybe views that quarterback situation? I hadn't really thought of that. There's going to be pressure on a, on a starting quarterback, no matter who he is um, and what the situation, what the situation is that he walks into. You can certainly envision a scenario where Dylan Rayola, as expected, earns the starting job at Nebraska and, you know, doesn't play like a Heisman Trophy finalist in the first (laughs) month of the season. He's a true freshman, okay? And five star, whatever. I mean, it's, it's, there's going to be bumps, uh, undoubtedly. And they won't all be his fault, but the quarterback often takes the brunt of the criticism and the, and the praise when, when that comes. Uh, when good or bad things happen, and I'd imagine, yes, there there will be. Do they should they give should they give Daniel Kalen an opportunity? You know, Dylan threw an incomplete pass. Um, he was intercepted. 
is a time to look at Daniel Kalen. So I would, I would just throw some caution out there that we should, we should be, uh, we should be patient with both of these guys and the coaches are going to see them a lot more than what we do as media and as people, you know, fans, people observing the program, they're going to have a good idea based on 15 practices here this spring. And then another 25 to 30 in August before somebody has to walk out there against UTEP and, and take the first rep. And, and uh, it's probably best to, uh, to give, to give that starting quarterback uh, some, some, some patience to afford him some patience because, if it's one of these two guys, if it's Dylan Rayola, um, he's he's uh, he's 19 years old, and and Daniel Kalen's in the same boat. Agreed. Uh, Mitch Sherman of the Athletic is with us. I wanted to ask you about your conversation with Mike Minter, who's a former Husker great and had spent uh, the last decade coaching at, at Campbell before stepping down now, and he was at the coaching clinic for over the weekend, and you, you caught up with him on a variety of different things, including Dylan Rayola, who he had a very interesting uh you know perspective on i think i guess what you um i mean the big quote was the comparison to to patrick mahomes in that conversation but a, a lot of this stuff is is pretty good and enlightening from from minter yeah i didn't say to mike minter do you think dylan rayola is like patrick mahomes <laughs> <laughs> he brought that up he brought it up i you know we we were talking about matt rule and and uh, and the need for Nebraska to continue to recruit talent and what he saw in rule. And, and, he, you know, he, he made the comment that Nebraska is not going to lose because it gets out coached. And that was a compliment for, for rule. And he said, Nebraska is going to lose games when it does, because the other team has more talent. And then he said, but here in, in year one, the first opportunity that he gets to go out and put together a full recruiting class, Matt rule gets the number one quarterback in the country. and and you know, I understand that he's got Nebraska ties, but you still have to beat Georgia in a recruiting battle, which is not easy to do, no matter the player. And and so then I said, so since you're talking about Dylan Rayola, what do you think about Dylan Rayola? And he launched into this comparison to Patrick Mahomes and said he's he's better than Patrick Mahomes was at this stage of his development. And you know, Patrick Mahomes was under the radar as a recruit um, out of uh, out of Texas, and you know that's that's part of why he ended up at Texas tech and not mm-hmm. Texas or Alabama or LSU or Oklahoma. Um, and he proved everyone wrong. Um, I don't, he, if he was a three or a four star prospect, he wasn't a five star, um, like Riola. So it's not, it's not, um, revolutionary to say that, that Riola is at a higher level than Mahomes was, uh, when they were 18 years old, but it's still eye opening and it's still a, a tremendous compliment. And it's still coming from somebody who's been a head coach, at the division one level for the last, um, 11 years. And, you know, he doesn't necessarily have the same need that Marcus Satterfield would or Glenn Thomas would, or Matt rule would to just play it easy, take it easy, be, be, be cautious and and slow with the way that you, um, that you very, very deliberate and all the words that you use to, to describe, um, Dylan. I don't think that, 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 um, Glenn Thomas is going to make, the Matt Ryan comparison with Dylan Rayola at any point here in his, in his freshman year. Um, but he may be thinking it behind the scenes, you know, they may watch him and, and think, wow, this, this guy's got some incredible, an incredible skill set. But, um, you know, that was, that was interesting for Minner and, you know, along with his comments about the Nebraska defensive staff, Tony White, Evan Cooper, um, and, and how impressed he was with the way that they get guys in position to make plays. Could, uh, could Jamal Banks be, um, you know, we're, we're, we're still a long ways away from playing a game here, but Nebraska's had a halfway decent run here of getting some wide receivers out of the transfer portal mm-hmm. to fill needs. Um, it, it feels like the early impressions on banks is that he fits right into that category of uh, now different types of players, obviously, but, uh, we're talking about Trey Palmer and we're talking about Samari Toure. Like, I, I it, it, it feels like Jamal Banks has the look of being Nebraska's or one of Nebraska's top guys at that spot this year. Yeah. Uh, those two guys went from Nebraska, uh, straight to the, you know, from one year at Nebraska into the NFL. And that's obviously the goal for Jamal Banks. That's why he's, he's left Wake Forest, um, to come get a new set of eyes on him and, and to, to, to get coached up and to play, 
um, in a place that can help showcase him and, and get him to the NFL. And he's got the physical tools for sure um, to get there. And I, you know, I think that there's, it's realistic to think because in part, because Nebraska has done it with players at that position multiple times that he can, that he can follow that path. I also think there's a chance that Isaiah Nair can follow that path. And you know, his career has been different than banks in that he hasn't um, put up the consistent numbers and he's dealt with more injuries and sat the last two years at Texas, but he's got it in him to have a season like he did at Wyoming and in 2021. And if you do that at Nebraska as a senior, and you know, we saw a glimpse of it in, in the open period of practice on Tuesday, then, you know, he could be that guy. So I, I think it's, it's, it's really big for the young Nebraska receivers. And there's a whole group of them that either played as true freshmen last year or redshirted. And, and now we're going to be relied on to be the, to be key pieces in this offense or, or, or depth pieces. Um, it's really big for them that they don't have to step onto that stage and be, and be the, the premier players at their position in, in their second years in the program. I, I think it, that would that potentially could hinder the development of a guy like Malachi Coleman or Jalen Lloyd if you, if you needed him to catch 70 passes, but they don't. They can just continue to grow at their own at their own pace and and be uh, be great players in their own right and 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 use the guidance of guys like Banks and Nair to um, you know to become uh, to become big time contributors and, and eventually be, be like wide receiver one and wide receiver two, but um, that may not be in 2024. All right, Mitch, great stuff. As always, we'll let you go. Enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right. Thanks, Connor. Mitch Sherman of the athletic. The, the rest has said way too much of that, you know, freshmen come in and they maybe have some big recruiting rankings attached to them or whatever it might be. And we say, Oh, well, that guy needs to slot right in right away. And he needs to, you know, in order for Nebraska to have a successful season, he's going to have to catch this many balls for 800 yards or 500 yards or whatever it might be. Same thing with the running back spot. Oh, that, I see a whole running back. That guy's going to come in and uh, and tote the rock. He's got to have 700, 800, 1,000 yards right away. Um, even though you know Malachi Coleman and Jalen Lloyd got that experience last year, um, it's still advantageous, I think, for their development that they don't have to shoulder all of that right you know, in, even in their second year, they had to shoulder a lot of it in the back half of last year with all the injuries that Nebraska's had. Um, but maybe it doesn't have to quite be as heavy with the addition of those two transfers. Because they, I mean, early, once again, spring over reactions. Um, but those two, those two portal receivers seem to kind of be hits, it, it seems like. And I, I think people were pretty sure about Banks right away. And maybe less sure about Nair, just because of what he hasn't done over the last couple of years. But um, the early returns on him seem to be very, very good as well. All right, we'll come back. Uh, don't forget to get your questions in for the tweet bag. Got a couple here on the text line, which is good. Uh, Twitter, send those in, um, and that will be your chance to win fifty dollars to Cops Pizza. You can, you can, you can have a feast for fifty bucks to Cops Pizza, baby. So you're going to want to get those questions in at Happer Show coming up at the top of the hour. But first, the odd news next on 1620 The Zone. I'm a fabulous driver. The Connor Happer Show. I'm one of the best friends you could ever have in your life. On 1620 The Zone. I hate you. Omaha's most listened to all sports radio station. Again and again and again. 1620 The Zone. Planning something fun for your office, family, or friends? Joe's Karting is for you. Take a break. Come to Joe's to race, relax, and recharge. Great for team building. Ditch the speaker and burn some rubber. Trust us. Joe says you'll leave motivated. Joe's Karting race packages range from providing simple stress relief races to the real deal race experience. Check us out at joeskarting.com. Remember, go to Joe's. Your place to race. 
Got the happy hour blues? Get to Cops for happy hour relief with two happy hours from 3 to 6 p.m. and 8.30 p.m. till close Sunday through Friday. Cops serves 24-ounce domestic drafts for just $3 and 24-ounce craft drafts for only $4 plus $2 off appetizers. The restaurant that offers great pizza, burgers, and tasty charred wings now offers two great happy hours. Visit Cops today at 180th and Center, the Shadow Lake Town Center, and 72nd and Jones or click CopsPizza.com. Cops, pizza, and so much more. It's no longer a question of if something is coming. It's when. The only shock will be the what. Your gut. The feeling you've had that something ominous is on the way. It's likely true. But what are you going to do about it now while you still have some control? Your first step is going to MyPatriotSupply.com. After that, your next step is stocking up on multiple one-week emergency food supplies. Priced at under $50 each, there's no better time to buy in bulk. My Patriot Supply is equipped to help you prepare. As the original Patriot Company, we've helped over 2 million families ready themselves. These one-week kits with Ready Hour Foods provide over 2,000 calories every day. Plus, they're sealed inside a rugged ammo can, so they last up to 25 years in storage. Just grab it and go when a crisis hits. Get these kits for under $50 this week only at MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com Timmy, everybody. Great job. Next up, we have Samantha. Ten times better performance can make a big difference. Castrol Edge Motor Oil gives your engine ten times better high temperature performance. Castrol Edge. Better oil for maximum performance. Now through April 23rd, get a $15 gift card when you buy five or more quarts of Edge or Edge High Mileage Full Synthetic only at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Claim based on Sequence 3H test versus API SP test limits. Is your concrete cracked or uneven? Hey everyone, Coach Greg McDermott here to explain why you should choose Everlevel Concrete Repair. Many people think they need to replace broken concrete, but repairing it provides durable protection and comes at a fraction of the cost. Everlevel provides permanent repair solutions to fix your concrete and protect it against future damage. And it all comes with a long-term transferable warranty. They offer free inspections to walk you through the entire process. Call Everlevel Concrete Repair today. Hi, this is Stacey McGilligan, Director of Sales for NRG Media Omaha. NRG Media is looking for an accomplished bilingual new business development salesperson who wants to take their success and skills to the next level. Is this you? Our multimedia account executives work with local businesses to create marketing plans to help them get more customers. On air, digital, on site, audio, video, it's all part of what you could sell. A sales career with NRG Media lets you make a real difference in our community. Get more info and apply online at nrgmedia.com. NRG Media is an equal opportunity employer. And now we've reached the point in the show where Josh Odson reads the peculiar, the bizarre, the comical, the odd news with Odd Son. Odd news, Odd Son. See what we did there? The Odd News with Oddson. All right, some good questions piling up in the tweet bag right now. Still a chance for you to get those in. $50 of cops on the line. But uh, let's ISO play for Josh Oddson and the Odd News. Oh, hello. Hello. How is everybody today? Very good. Everybody likes your hat. Thank you. They love your hat. They're coming to the stream to see your hat. Sweet lid. Uh, got an update on this uh, Coach Cal to Arkansas story. Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Oh, no. What's the update? Uh, well, yesterday. Tyson Chicken's going out of business? No. Oh. Quite possibly the exact opposite. <laughs> the CEO of Tyson Foods, uh, John H. Tyson, mm. Uh, mm. he wanted to let people know that, hey, I did that. <laughs> so i would too to yeah. be fair like a little credit so he mailed a lot of sports radio hosts in uh in and around the lexington area oh no arkansas basketball t-shirts oh wow <laughs> and packages of tyson <laughs> dino nuggets that's awesome that's <laughs> such a baller move <laughs> Oh, right in Colonel's backyard. Yeah. Oh, man. That is a power move. <laughs> now, now I will say this. Um, we have to keep in, in, in mind the context here, right? Like, it's not like 
John Calipari is coming off of a national championship and everybody loves him and they just stole him from right underneath him. This was a situation that was only possible because of the nature of the job that he was doing for the last, uh, for the better part of the last decade. It was very convenient for both sides. It was, it was, it's it's an opportunity for a win-win for both, but I like, I'm sure there's some people down there who love Cal and they wanted to keep him and they think that the program's going to be in shambles without him now. I'm sure there's somebody who thinks that somewhere. And they were probably very triggered. One radio host <laughs> was probably very triggered that he received an Arkansas basketball t-shirt and a uh, and a bunch of dino nuggets. It's a, it's a power move. It, yeah. It, it's it, a power. The optics, like if, if you don't know anything about the situation, you don't know what they've done. The optics of the of the Kentucky coach leaving that job to take the Arkansas job is funny in and of itself. Definitely. Anyone leaving Kentucky for another job is funny. Definitely. Okay, we go to Germany. To Germany. For story number two, where one aspiring artist got to bask in the limelight for a whole eight hours as a museum in southern Germany whose name is impronounceable by the human tongue confirmed on Tuesday that they had fired a member of their technical services team after realizing he had hung up one of his own paintings (laughs) on the walls of the museum. That's awesome. Allowing him to share space with other famous uh, paintings. Yes. Famous paintings by Andy Warhol. So not just like, oh, yeah, there's a painting by some guy. Like, here we go. Warhol, 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 some guy from IT, Warhol. 51-year-old man had smuggled his work into the display at Munich's Pinakothic der Modern. Of course. That probably means modern, that last word. That's what that is. Uh, In hopes of achieving an artistic breakthrough, he said. The employee considers himself an artist and most likely saw his role in the museum's installation team as a day job to support his true calling. Look, man, we we get to experience that every day. I mean, our radio station is like the like the uh, German uh, museum, like the Louvre. You know, it's kind of like that. That's a Parisian museum. But you get on the radio and you're like, I got to shoot my shot. Like, I got to I got to say the things that are important to me. And I hope maybe if I give a take good enough. They'll put it up in a museum somewhere or they'll have me back on the air. That's the dream. That's the right. dream. That's you get you get one shot at this. Um, famous radio callers all across the country can attest to this. Like I, I came on one day and I gave my take. I'll always remember the guy who called in that big red re- overreaction that one time and said <laughs> he was going to hunt people down and kill them. Wade. That's epic. Put that in a museum. But he saw a window of opportunity and he took it. And I respect him for it. That's right. The incident happened on February 23rd and was not made public until this week. The the gallery said it has terminated the contract of that employee. But what did it cost? No word on everything. No word on if the buzz has gotten him any sales. Yeah, I was going to say, I wonder if he got any calls on it. Yeah. Well, now that it's public, maybe, maybe he will. Ah, I hope he did. And finally, uh, we end in Mexico for one last solar oh, eclipse story. Mexico. Um, Never really been, so I don't really know. One Mexican TV station's solar eclipse coverage was totally nuts, as a pair of testicles were somehow shown on screen instead Ugh. of the solar eclipse. Not sure how you could get those two confused, but... well. Nevertheless, I don't know. It's, news, dark, it's dark out. News anchors for Mexico's RCG Media were commenting just as the eclipse entered totality, but things got really interesting when they cut to a different angle of a bright light, presumably the sun. Seconds later, the testicles dipped into frame, blocking the light. So, so you're saying that somebody put their balls in front of a camera lens during the eclipse? That's right. That is what I'm saying. Gave the audience a brief but very once again look. shoot your shot, yeah. man. <laughs> it's my one chance. You could see the visible shock on the faces of the two anchors on set. <laughs> uh, the internet has gotten a kick of the. Let me tell you one thing. First of all, 
this ain't no accident. <laughs> they say it was an accident. This is not an accident. So this is very purposeful. Here's probably how it happened. Oh, RC- oh Fremont Fred just sent me the video. I'm going to watch it. RCG Media asked viewers to send in their own eclipse footage. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> and they just played it? Like, it wasn't a live shot. No, They no. just played it. Hey, everybody, send us your eclipse footage. We'll put up the uh, best Oh, one. my God. <laughs> well, thank you to Fremont Fred. And, of course, it was Fremont Fred who sent this to me. Yeah. He had it readily available the second we started talking about it. Now, we appreciate Fremont Fred. There was a time on the Internet yesterday where people were pretty sure these were Tommy Lee, former Husker, Tommy Lee's testicles. <laughs> that has been debunked. debunked. Okay, good. So if you see anyone saying, oh, yeah, those are Tommy Lee's balls. No, no, <laughs> no, no. No Husker would act like that. No, no, no. They would not dare. They wouldn't dare. Oh, man. That is... uh, They should probably have checked that before they put it on the air. Yeah, maybe you watch the footage that gets sent to you before you slap it on the screen there. That's all. Yeah. That's all. Josh, thank you. Thank you, Connor. I wouldn't have known about any of those things. (laughs) But I'm glad you told me. That's the goal, really. Time for the tweet bag. Send us your tweets. Um, we we have room for a couple more. We have a few lined up. So send them in at Happer Show or any other way you can get in touch with the show. And there's 50 bucks to cops online. Uh, all you have to be willing to do is let Josh slide into your DMs after the show. He won't send you anything else. Nothing but the else. Information on how to receive your cops gift card. Ask anyone else who has ever won anything. Yes. Strictly business. We have uh, proof of concept here, which is which is really nice. We'll come back with that on the other side on sixteen twenty the zone. But we are gearing up for playoff time in the NBA and, of course, in the NHL as well. Baseball's in full swing. The Royals are good, and FanDuel is your place to bet on the Royals or anything else, I suppose. Right now, new customers get one hundred fifty dollars in bonus bets. That is guaranteed. One hundred and fifty bucks, win or lose. Look, that's once again one hundred and fifty bucks, win or lose. So when you're already betting on NBA playoff action or things to happen in the NHL playoffs or Bobby Witt Jr. to hit a home run or get seven hits in a game, uh, it's all available for you on the FanDuel Sportsbook and you can get 150 bucks in bonus bets guaranteed. All an app that's safe, secure, and easy to use. The user experience is very, very good. So the only question left to ask is what are you waiting for? Visit FanDuel.com slash Happer and make your first bet an auto win, like an auto striker, an auto ball, an auto win. FanDuel, America's number one sports book. 21 and over, present in Iowa, first online, real money wager only. $10 first deposit required. Bonus issued is now withdrawable. Bonus bets that expire seven days after receipt. See terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem, call 1-800-BETS-OFF. Live from the Host Coffee Studio, this is 1620 The Zone. When it comes to concrete repair, Everlevel has some serious game. Coach Greg McDermott here to coach you on why you should choose Everlevel Concrete Repair. They've got the fundamentals to fix your cracked and uneven concrete, and their products will give you the best defense against future damage. It's a fraction of the price compared to replacement, and their solutions come with a long-term transferable warranty. Working with Everlevel is a slam dunk. Call Everlevel Concrete Repair today for your free inspection. Hi, I'm Matt Jensen, president of Jensen Tire and Auto. When it comes to tires and auto service, we know you have a lot of choices. I invite you to check out Jensen, where you'll find that we respect you, your time, and your money. From keeping our stores spotlessly clean to offering you the best in tires and expert auto service at the most competitive prices in town. From doing only the work you authorize to keeping you informed every step of the way and getting you in and out as quickly as possible at Jensen, Our goal is to provide you with the best customer experience. Next time your vehicle needs tires or auto service, experience the difference at our locally owned and family owned company. Check us out and everything we have to offer at JensenTireAndAuto.com today. 
Get ready for warm weather driving with April tire deals at Jensen. Save up to $200 on new sets of Goodyear, Cooper, General, Continental, Maxxis, and Kelly tires. Check out Jensen's money saver April tire deals at JensenTireAndAuto.com today. News Talk 1290 Coil is your radio home for Omaha Storm Chasers baseball. Proud AAA affiliate of the Kansas City Royals. Tune in to hear every pitch, every hit, and every out as the Chasers play at Warner Park and across the International League in 2024. With the voice of the Omaha Storm Chasers, Nick Batters, on News Talk 1290 Coil. Tune in at 1290 Coil all season long for your Omaha Storm Chasers baseball as they take on the International League. It's Storm Chasers baseball on 1290 Coil. Howdy, Greg Wagner joining you from the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission. Time now for another Nebraska Outdoor Update. Say there's a lot to do this season in Nebraska's outdoors. There's always hiking in the state parks. There's bird watching. There's trout stream fishing action. There's scouting for that spring wild turkey hunting trip. And there's looking for shed deer antlers in your favorite woods. So there's no reason to be a couch potato, is there? No. Get outdoors and enjoy. Well, it's time, time to get all your new permits and stamps for hunting, fishing, fur harvesting, and state parks. Time to check your motorboat registration for renewal. Time to make those cabin and camping reservations in the state parks if you haven't done that already. And time to go over all of your outdoor gear for spring and summer. Get more information on Nebraska's outdoor scene by going to the Game and Parks website, OutdoorNebraska.gov. And that'll wrap it up. I'm Greg Wagner with Nebraska Game and Parks. Like eating out? Like saving money? Then get to Cobbs at 180th and Center, Shadow Lake Town Center, or 72nd and Jones for their daily specials. Tuesday is $3 off all burgers and sandwiches. Wednesday, buy any specialty pizza and get a one-topping 50% off. Then Thursday, all wings are a dollar each when you order 10. And this just in, all Cops locations now offer their own delivery service. Click copspizza.com to see the menu. Cops, pizza, and so much more. You're going to feel a puff of air. Jong's Optometry oh. has set their sights on staffing up. Try the next line. Hey, Kim, can you tell our 2 o'clock we're running 15 behind? Sorry, we're a bit backed up today. He needs an optometric now, technician to keep an eye on it all. Where are the dilation drops? Indeed can help him hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. You can schedule and conduct virtual interviews all from your employer dashboard. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. Tickets for less. Best seats. Best prices. No service fees. Shop ticketsforless.com. KOZN Bellevue, Omaha, Council Bluffs. This is 1620 The Zone. It's spring. Now is the best time to shop at Lenaha for all things garden or landscape. Our garden center is filled with the largest selection of homegrown plants, flowers, trees, and more. The area's best mulch and soil available for delivery and pickup. Rooted in quality, unmatched value. Lenaha Nurseries, 192nd and Center. This is the Tweet Bag. You send your questions in and we answer them. Like no other radio segment ever. It's the Tweet Bag on the Connor Happer Show. That's right. It's time for our very original segment, the Tweet Bag, every Wednesday. I think we put our own spin on it, though, Josh. It's, oh, yeah, definitely. It's very uniquely ours. We make it our own. And $50 to cops has an opportunity to be yours. Sorry, we took a little bit longer during the break. I was... I was rattling the vending machine. Putting some pennies in there? Well, I was just trying. You know, I don't have small enough bills on me right now. Wow. Brag. <laughs> I just came back from Vegas, and all they use in Vegas is hundreds. You know? But no other bill actually works in Vegas. Did you know this? No, I had no clue. It's just $100 bills. So that's what I have on me at the moment. I don't have very many, you know? So, like, don't rob me. But, like, I... um <laughs> I don't want to put $100 into a vending machine. I don't think you can. I don't think you can, probably. Um, so I got to use my stupid card, and then it doesn't take the card, and then it costs more money with the card anyway. Mm -hmm. And then I, I hit B9, where my purple Doritos come out of, and it sits there, you know? And oh. It goes, and it sits on the edge for a second. So I, it, and our, apparently our vending machine is just bolted into the ground. Oh, really? I mean, it's it it doesn't move if you just give it a good nudge. So you gotta both arms, 
you know, 13 people die each year tipping over vending machines. Really? Yeah. Well, I didn't even think about that threat <laughs> while it was happening to me. Um, but I wiggled it enough and I guess you got your purchase. I got what I paid for. Okay. Yeah. Got what I paid for. All right. Uh, what do we got today? I got a few things on the text line too. So, uh, send them our way. There's still chances to get in. Yeah. Don't, don't worry. It's not, it's not too late, but, uh, we begin with a, uh, a little bit of a softball. Let's, let's get you warmed up here. This is from Platt cat. Is it about flying a plane or something like that? No. Okay. Who will win AL MVP and why is it Bobby Witt jr? Why is it Bobby Witt jr? Yeah. Um, because he will hit 30 home runs and steal more than 50 bases. That's good. He will hit in the neighborhood of 300 and drive in 100 runs for a playoff team. Oh, that's why he'll win AL MVP. Yeah. Yeah, those are all Is it is he checking enough boxes there? Those are those are boxes checked, absolutely. And he is becoming you know, a, a sort of household name. He's not just good in the nerd community anymore. He's right. not just good because he hits balls hard. Like the, the stats are starting to show and um, the results hopefully will follow. Hopefully in order for, for them to make the playoffs, the rotation will have to, you know, throw six innings of shutout baseball every single day. <laughs> that will definitely happen. Um, I don't want to reveal too much about myself to you or the audience, but I was listening to Hall of Fame baseball writer Tim Kirkjian's podcast. That is sort of revealing. Uh, yeah, Josh. That, yeah, that's sort of revealing. I'm kind of a nerd. That is pretty crazy. Uh, I can't imagine listening to Tur Tim Kirkjian talk about anything for more than ten seconds. Oh, I'll listen, talk about baseball all day. He's good. He's really, really good. But I've never even thought about what he might say had he had a microphone for five minutes. <laughs> Uh, well, he was talking about Bobby Witt Jr., and he called him a Hall of Famer. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Do anything for you? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. I just, this is very new for me. It's April. Um, I have my thing every year, and it's, I know what's going to happen. The Royals are going to go 5-20 and 20 in April. They're going to blow out any sort of hope that I possibly could have had. And then they'll double down on it in May, suck in May too. And then just gradually, at basically after the All-Star break, they'll just get better and better and better. They ripped off eight in a row in August last year. And I'm like, hell yeah. I mean, cool. Awesome. And it'll be the same thing every year. It's just an endless cycle of, of pain because they get really happy at the end of the year because it has hope for next year. Then they, they, they win the Cactus League. And I'm like, hell yes, this is awesome. So this year I told myself to restart the process. I told myself I'm I'm just not like I'm not going to not that I'm not going to do it this year, but I'm not going to be like, "Hey, they're going to go to the playoffs." Well, that lasted 14 days. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm a bit emotionally fragile right now. Thanks, Josh. You're all in. Yep. All in. Yep. Uh coming off the crossover uh Star Wars fiend asks us this question. Hey, Star Wars fiend. Good to hear from you. Connor and Josh, build me the ultimate gas station. <laughs> what does it consist of? What kind of food are we making? Custom drinks, design, etc. Blow me away with your ultimate gas station. Okay, so like I, I'm about space. Yes. I'm, I'm about space. And I'm, a, I'm about like um, one thing that they have, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of the Mall of America, Josh. We've talked about this prior to, to this segment. Mm -hmm. I... Love the idea that there could be two or three of something in one sink under one roof. So with that being in mind, like I think there's a perfect gas station out there somewhere in the world that has like three stations for fountain drinks. So I don't have to sit behind. Oh my gosh. So I don't have to sit behind the person who's getting the thing next to the diet Coke, mm -hmm. but they're standing in front of six. Yeah, can't kinds of pop, uh -huh. so I can't sneak in there. And like they're gonna get the mm -hmm. Diet Mountain Dew. It's right next to the Diet Coke. And then they got a horrible in structure. The you know the horrible flaw in design, by the way. But and then they got to tap the thing six times to, to get every jog the ice out and just get every space filled with soda. Yeah. Um. So how about three stations for soda? Three soda fountains. That's a revolutionary idea. I mean, I. 
not even at Bucky's they have something like that. Right. B U C C E E S. Not oh, even oh, okay. not even at Bucky's they have something like that. Um but you got to and then there's things that I would take from other gas stations that we've seen um that that we like across the country. The obviously, you know, give me the QT um, you know, ch- cubed or uh, crushed ice. The little the little tiny pellets. <laughs> Love those. Pop, pop. Um <sighs> You know, but like, like I said, space and options are really, really good. Yes. Also, one thing that as, as gas stations have become smaller, it feels like maybe, or, or, or maybe some of our bigger chains have taken over smaller areas as we talked about a little bit during the crossover. It feels like if there's one thing that gas stations have decided that they could sacrifice from a structural or like design part of the store is the sunflower seed aisle. I want the biggest selection of sunflower seeds that you could possibly imagine. Oh, I want a whole, maybe how about this? Let's take it even a step further. Sunflower seed bar. You make your own, you get, you get a plastic bag and then you scoop up, Whatever kind of sunflower seeds you want, and you weigh it out by the pound. How's that? Another revolutionary idea, Connor. I could make gas stations. <laughs> Much like I could land a plane, I could make gas stations. But yeah, I want I, I want a billion pumps. I want uh, just put it on a ju- like. I will go out of my way if it's good enough. That's right. That's the key. You have to have much like our friends from Circa. In Las Vegas, people don't go to Fremont Street to experience part of the strip. But if you give them a reason to do it, like the stadium swim, they'll go. They will go. And everything else will build around it. Like I'm imagining a town, a new town, in which the centerpiece is the Connor Happer gas station. Wow. I was just going to ask. People come from miles and miles and miles. I was just going to ask for popped popcorn. (laughs) (laughs) Charles writes in sunflower seed bar. What kind of sorcery is this? Yeah. I, I, I just came up with that on the fly, but I actually think that's an awesome idea. (laughs) So, uh, please support me in this endeavor. You really nailed it. All right. You want me to go to the text line here? Uh, I got one more from uh, the the Twitter. All right, hit me on the tweets. Uh, you said people will travel to something if you're giving them something. Ethan uh, tweets in, some people drove up to 31 hours to see the total solar eclipse. Is there anything you're willing to drive 31 hours to see? A, a really good lobster roll. Oh. I'm trying to think of how far 31 hours from Omaha. 31 hours, me. you can get anywhere. I can get anywhere. You, you can get anywhere in the country in 31 hours, yeah. with the exception of Alaska. Hey, you uh, Seriously, you can get coast to coast. You, you can get to the West Coast in 31 hours from here. You can get to the East Coast in 31 hours. I can get to Seattle in 25 hours. I don't know that you could get to like Maine in 31 from here. Ma- okay. It, Maine is probably really close, but that's it. It's 24 hours, Omaha to Miami. How Do like, do... Omaha to Maine. Bangor, Maine, or something like that. Omaha to Maine, 24 hours. Okay. So you can get anywhere in the continental United States in 31 hours. 25 to Bangor. Yeah. That's where we are centrally located here in Omaha. Wow. So that's the advantage. It turns your 31 hour drive into a 25 hour drive. Pretty good stuff. I I like road trips, Josh. I, I, I do. Like, my my honeymoon a couple of years ago was basically me and my wife driving across the country and um spending more than a day's worth of time in a car and we drove out to the east coast we got all the best food we could ever want we saw a great baseball game like i'll i'll do it i would not do it for the eclipse i would not do it for the eclipse no although i love the eclipse, the eclipse. i'm an eclipse supporter i'm an eclipse truther <laughs> I believe in the good heart of the eclipse, but I wouldn't drive 31 hours for it. Nothing comes to mind. No. Uh, Adam writes in. He says that he would probably drive 31 hours to watch Creighton win a national championship. He said he would have driven to Phoenix from Omaha and back if it meant Creighton won a national championship. Or how about even this, Adam? Like 
the chance to win a national championship. Yeah. Because that would have been your option if flights would have been out of control. So you, you would have had to probably drive. Would you have done it to see your team win a title if you were given the opportunity, like a ticket or something like that? I would. Yeah, I would. I would. Sure. It sure. wouldn't take me much. It would take me a lot less than than a lot of other people okay. to drive 31 hours. I like the idea of driving. All right. What's on the what's on the text line? All right. Here we go. Let's start way back here. Uh, I think we got one at uh, the first one came in at a le- Oh, OK. So just a few minutes ago from uh, Pedro. Hi, Pedro. Hi, guys. Connor and Josh, you guys have the ability to change the name of one of your favorite teams or to change the name of one of your hated rivals. Example, the Iowa Shih Tzu or the Creighton Dobermans. It can be college or professional sports. What team and name would you choose? Thanks, Pedro. Would you change the name to the Iowa Shih Tzus? I would not. <laughs> Although... I, would you change the name of your own team to get to to steer yourself clear of some undertones, Josh? Uh, I have long said that the Atlanta Braves could change their name to the Atlanta Hammers, and I would be fine with that for stupid. Hammer and Hank Aaron and get away from some of the uh, undertones. Undertones, yes. Yes. I don't think you, that, that'd be dumb. The, I don't think, I don't even think you would like that. You don't think I would like that? I don't think that you would like your Hammer team not being named the Braves. It can be the exact same thing. The exact same logo, the exact yeah, same uniform. There's something it's that just you a, lose from it's it, It's just though. a hammer instead of a tomahawk. Like, I wonder if we could... This is something that we'll definitely forget in the next five seconds, but... Okay. Like, do you think anything changed for Mike Schaefer that his team went from being called the Cleveland Indians to the Cleveland Guardians? Like, I just it just loses something. Well, both... Both Guardians fans I know, they're the same two Guardians fans that you know, both think... Oh, yeah, there's a guy who sits here. Yeah, like, wow, what a what a terribly generic name and logo. Yes. So I, You, you I, grow I think, an attachment. I think that's the problem. You grow an attachment to the name, to the, to the merchandise, to whatever. Now Major League is I, seemingly like, a, a fictitious team. So to answer, so let me see... Um, Pedro is just giving us the ability. Mm -hmm. It's nice to have the ability. Pull in case of emergency. But I don't think that I would. I don't want to change anything. I am am old as hell. And I love things that are the same forever and ever. Would you change the commanders back to the football team? Maybe. I definitely like that a lot better. (laughs) I would have made it so the Nationals were called the Senators. Okay. Or we can go back to that. Mm Mm-hmm. Or something like that. Yeah, but I really wouldn't change much. I'm a I'm a big no change guy. Yeah, there's not a lot of wrongs out there that I I need righted. Uh, now Zach has a good example. If if you want to change one to dunk on your rival, then yes, please. Example of that very thing here from Zach: uh, change the Colorado from the Buffaloes to the Tiny Baby Buffs officially. Yes, I would do that. <laughs> I would make Colorado try and feel the pain for sure. That'd be nice, actually. We don't want good things for Just them. Stick it to them. Uh, here's a tweet bag entry from the 402, Hi, 402 that just has a picture of Salvador Perez appearing to be a rocket man. Oh, hello. He is, I don't know, flying into outer space, um, and he's glowing for some reason. So thank you for that entry. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> Chris has a poll question for us. Okay. Uh, poll question is getting your testicles shown on the news, a baller move. <laughs> it's it's kind of spicy, maybe. but I'll do uh, it. May, maybe I, you could, you could decide on that one. How oh, spicy. Uh, Jesse, I think it's literally right there in the name. It's a baller move. Tweet bag. If you could be extremely amazingly mechanically inclined, but you had to give up all of your sports knowledge, would you do it? If the moon was made of cheese, would you eat it? No. Now what? It, but you, I'd like this to be more specific. Like, what do I get from being amazingly mechanically inclined? I yeah. just know a lot about cars. cars. Is, is is that the is that the deal? I could fix stuff around the house. No, no, no. no. I, I I would I would not. No. I would not. I'm always jealous of people who do know that. Yeah. 
But I'd like to think that some people are jealous of my sports knowledge. Yeah, not a fair, not a fair trade at this point in time. People got, do people ever say that to you? They're like, how do you remember all this stuff? And I'm like, I actually don't know the answer to that question. But I think the same thing when I think about car people. And I'm like, how do you remember all that stuff? How do you know that stuff? Since we have the capacity to uh to to withhold a lot of these things. My so, wife, no, I wouldn't trade it. I wouldn't I've, I've asked my wife a number of times. She said something and like, how do you just how do you just know that? Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's something very, very simple, like cooking thing or something. I'm like, how do you just know? Oh, is cooking thing? I, I, I think it was. <laughs> My wife's a great cook. Uh, let's see. Uh, from the 402, Jason. Uh, convenience stores, workers around Omaha metro area, gritting their teeth from the wonderful suggestion of multiple soda stations. Changing the soda syrup is a pain. I do love the idea, though. Yeah, great for the consumer. Uh, Chris in Montana would change the Las Vegas Raiders to the Las Vegas Lap Dancers. Suggestive. Don't know if that would go I like it. over particularly well. Um, but yeah, uh, the Iowa empty trophy cases, Andrew says. Also, Brian is officially putting the tweet to uh, to President C. Talk to Marty. And get the sunflower seed station at Warner Park. Oh, yeah, a little. little I'll experiment. put the bug in his ear tomorrow. Yeah. I'll put the bug in his ear tomorrow. Also, uh, Michael asks, uh, "Isn't thirty-one hours the same as thirty hours?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you're good driving... callback, we appreciate that. And yes, yeah, when you're driving that long, yes, yes. But I got to tell you, that last hour is going to be a pain. Yeah, it, that's gonna always be, is. That's going to be big pain. Always is. The last hour is always the worst. Is that it then? Uh, yeah, I think that's anything it. on the YouTube. Uh, oh, I thought there was one. Hold on. There's gr- good suggestions for what we should change the names. <laughs> y- Yippee. Yes. Y- Yippee. Had a retort for my first answer to the what would you travel 31 hours for? And he said a lobster roll because <laughs> I said a lobster roll. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I would travel. I would drive 30 hours for some really good food. Food that I can't get here. Fortunately, food is traveling 31 hours to my doorstep this afternoon. That's right. And that's actually a great segue to the final question. James asks, the Masters champion gets to play in the champion's dinner the following year. Somebody asked this yesterday of you. What would be your dinner that you share with the former Masters champions? Well, I, who were we talking about this with yesterday? Um, I don't remember. Vic? I don't remember why it came. Oh, Alan. Alan. Yeah. yeah. We were talking about the champion's dinner deal with Alan. So. Like, I think there's a lot of thought that goes into what you would want to do for a menu. Um, Like in the mass, in the case of the masters, you want it, everything's at your disposal, right? So you want it to be a little slice of you, but also slice of a slice of the things that you like, which could be, which could be different, right? So you're, you're including your heritage. You're including what you're, where you're from, but also like, here are the things that I like from it too. Um, so, I mean, mine would just con- considering I'm a white guy from Omaha, um, there's not, there's no food that necessarily defines me with the exception, maybe of a runza. Does a runza define me? Poll question. <laughs> does a runza, are you defined by a runza or does a runza define you? Um, so maybe I would offer that on the menu. People have been hearing that about that for a, for a long time, a beer rock or something like that. You wouldn't go steak or, or a steak. Me? Yeah, I think a steak would be on my menu anyway. Yeah. Um, but like, you know, I think it'd be funny if some if the champion of the Masters, the previous champion of the Masters, like just dropped by the McDonald's drive through window and got six hundred cheeseburgers or something like that and put them out like Trump style on the <laughs> like if Trump won the Masters, it would just be cheeseburger. Here you go. It's a really great. Cheeseburger box. I don't like how <laughs> nonsense Joe Biden raised the prices on him. Last night I stopped and I got a chicken sandwich and they gave me a spicy chicken sandwich instead. Oh, hello. And those are definitively different things, Josh. They are. I'll have you know this. They are. Charles says Dino Nuggets would be his champion's meal. 
would be amazing. Be pretty funny. I wait for somebody to do something like that. Great bit. Uh, thank you, everybody, for playing and taking part in the tweet bag. Josh will slide in your DMs or send you a text uh, later on this afternoon. Uh, we will come back. Uh, still plenty more to come in the Connor Hamper Show in 1620 The Zone. Previously on Unsportsmanlike Conduct. Would you rather have to eat one hot dog every morning immediately after waking up for the rest of your life or... Every time you touch a piece of paper, it cuts you and draws blood. Well, I would or rather eat, eat a hot dog oh, every morning. Give me that dog. Kevin says yes, wiping after using the bathroom. Oh, Toilet oh. paper. Ouch. Unsportsmanlike conduct with John Bishop and Josh Peterson. Weekdays 2 to 6 on 1620 The Zone. Your Omaha area forecast from a Godfather's Pizza Weather Center and KETV Newswatch 7 on 1620 The Zone. Another mild day ahead for Wednesday. Expect partly sunny skies for the majority of the day. Southwest winds will shift more northwesterly in the afternoon. Not too breezy with gusts 15 to 20 miles per hour possible. Can't rule out a stray sprinkle after 4 p.m., but most will stay dry. Highs in the low 70s. I'm meteorologist Sean Everson from KETV News Watch 7. Make the right call. John Higgins, weather car. The home of the roof. You're thinking about the summer season, but have you thought about storm season? Have no fear. John Higgins Weather Guard is here. For roofing, siding, and gutter repair, make the right call to John Higgins Weather Guard. John Higgins Weather Guard, the home of the roofery. Make the right call. It's spring. Now is the best time to shop at Lenaha for all things garden or landscape. Our garden center is filled with the largest selection of homegrown plants, flowers, trees, and more. The area's best mulch and soil available for delivery and pickup. Rooted in quality, unmatched value. Lenaha Nurseries, 192nd and Center. Hey, baseball fans, join the Blur Tailgate at Hilton Omaha this June for our 12th annual hospitality event during the College Baseball Championship Series. Book an experience for your clients or employees with an inclusive bar, buffet, TVs, music, and tailgate games. Secure your spot today and let blur events take care of all the work so you can enjoy the day plus we're just steps away from charles schwab field visit blur to book your group buy tickets or learn about sponsorships that's blur your college baseball and football tailgate destination my taco pie is really something special and it can't be imitated it starts with my zesty taco sauce seasoned beef onions lettuce tomatoes mounds of cheddar and mozzarella cheese this pie is the real deal. For a limited time, build your own feast with the specialty pizza, like my taco pie, a one-topping pizza, and cinnamon monkey bread. Do yourself a favor and order. Today, Godfather's Pizza. Do it. Equitable Bank. We take banking personally. EquitableOnline.com. Hi, this is John Bishop. Since the day I got my driver's license, I've had a check next to the organ and tissue donor box. It's a selfless gift because healthy organ donors can save up to eight lives. And with tissue donation, dozens more can get the gift of sight and burn victims can get life-changing skin grafts. Anybody can register and there's no cost to you or your family. Check that organ donor box next time you renew your license or visit goodguyssavelives.com. Learn more about organ and tissue donation today and see how you can save eight lives at goodguyssavelives.com. Let's get back to the Connor Happer Show on 1620 The Zone. Joel just sent me a video of uh, Trump at the Chick-fil-A. It's funny. As most things that he does, it's pretty funny. Uh, What's he doing? Well, he's just asking the workers if they're making a lot of money and getting rich. (laughs) He's not ordering any food. He goes, everything going good? And they're all like, yes. Making a lot of money? Yes. Are you getting really rich? It's <laughs> uh, a good video. It's a good video. You know, a lot of people work at Chick Fil A for love of the game, but most <laughs> of them work there for the money. Uh, Andy writes in on the Nebraskan Masters dinner. Rubens runs us TV dinners in a Dorothy Lynch fountain. I hope to God someday that a true Nebraskan wins the Masters. <laughs> and that way they can impart 
our culture on, I mean, we know golfers, right? Professional golfers, they tend to be uh, elitists. A little bit, a little bit. They're very rich. You getting really rich, golfers? <laughs> they could work at Chick Fil A. They could work at Chick Fil A. They're getting really rich, and so they probably haven't experienced good old fashioned Nebraska cuisine. And I'm dying for one day a Nebraskan to win that tournament, so that the next year they can give us give them a little bit of slice of what life is like back home. That's the dream, Josh. That's the dream. Tomahawk steaks and beer rocks for everybody. And a Dorothy Lynch fountain. Uh, a couple baseball items here. First of all, here's this from uh, Bob Nightingale. Here's Hi, a stat for you. Mike Trout. Mike Trout. Good baseball player, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Certainly not a bust. Has now hit the last 10 home runs that he has hit, dating back to last season, have all been solo home runs. He has now hit 235 of his career, 373 home runs with nobody on base. That is 63% of Mike wow. Trout's career home runs have come with nobody on base. That's incredible. Oh, you know how baseball works. There's either nobody on base, one person on base, two people on base, or three people on base. But the times where nobody has been on base has been 63% for Mike Trout. The only player in MLB history to have at least 373 home runs with 60% or more being solo shots is notorious person who never won anything, Alfonso Soriano. He hit 249 of his 412 career home runs with nobody on base. Now, does this mean Mike Trout isn't clutch? In this case, he is. No, it means his teammates suck. Oh, okay. I think this is almost the new Tungsten Armor Doyle tweet. Sure seems like. We have to basically redo that now now that Shohei plays for a different team. So this is this is basically it. This guy is uh he's got no teammates around him. Has anybody checked in on the Angels yet this year? Are they any good? I haven't even thought to look at what uh, they're, they're doing. They're not in last. They're not in last. Good job. They're actually tied for first, Josh. Oh, okay. That's they're the exact opposite of last. They're six and five and a increasingly bad looking AL West. By yeah, the way. it doesn't look great. I don't, I don't know how good that division is if the Astros aren't carrying the water for everybody. Um, yeah, they're six and five anyway to start the year. Mike Trout, the last 10 home runs he has hit have been solo shots. Elsewhere, some more oddities from, from baseball. We, we have another player who has joined a major league roster by the name of Jackson. Jackson Holiday is a major leaguer. He'll make his debut tomorrow at Fenway Park, where he'll, where he'll wear number seven with uh, Cal Ripken's uh, blessing. Um, oh, okay. Jackson. That's why they included that in the graphic effort. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yes, that's why. Like, wait, why? So we are now in a... Very interesting moment for the name Jackson. Every child is named Jackson. Can you confirm this or deny this? A lot of Jacksons out there. I think th I think there's a lot of Jacksons out there. I think more kids are being named Jackson, whether it's spelled J-A-C-K-S-O-N or J-A-X-S-O-N or J-A-X-E-N. I don't know. Whatever they're doing, it sounds out to Jackson. Every kid's named Jackson now. In fact... Each of the three youngest players in baseball, Major League Baseball, are named Jackson. Jackson Holiday was born on December 4th, 2003. Josh, 2003. Disgusting. Other active Major League players born in 2003, there's only one. It's Jackson Merrill. There's only one Major Leaguer active right now who was born in the year 2004, and uh. his name is Jackson. Jackson Churio for the Milwaukee Brewers. He's very good. So the next guy who gets called up and was born in two, you know, late 2003 or later is probably going to be named Jackson, if you believe that this is a trend. Steve on Twitter asked the question. Hi, Steve. Poll question, do you know a Jackson? 
Oh, do you know a Jackson? Do you know a Jackson? I asked. Or that. are you a child and do you know a Jackson? I asked, is every kid named Jackson? That's better. Let's okay. do that. Let's, okay. let's do that. Is every is every kid named Jackson now? Those are your, uh, that's when basically when you have a child or when you had a child in 2003 or 2004, you only had a couple options to name what your kid was. And most of them decided Jackson is the way to go. One more baseball thing. And I know Josh wanted to, wanted to poke some holes in this and wanted to dive into this a little bit. So here's your opportunity. To okay. Me. I'm an emotionally compromised man. My heart is now up for grabs. Like I said, it's April 10th. I told myself I wasn't going to do this. It's late. It's, it, it, it's too late now. It has happened. The Royals have won seven out of their first 11 games. Their pitching staff is good. Their young core is better than I expected them to be. Um, MJ Melendez is hitting now. Vinny Pasquatito is still in a slump, but that's okay. Bobby Wood Jr. is an MVP caliber type of player. I have tricked myself already into believing that there is a chance that the Royals could be a playoff team in, in 2024. Josh, go ahead. Ask away. I, I actually don't want to poke holes in this. I kind you of, believe this? I just kind of want to encourage you. Oh, thank you. They have an ace. Yep. They have a lineup. Cole Reagans. He didn't pitch very well last night. And they still won. Yeah. They have a lineup. They have a division that is not full Winnable. of world beaters. Yeah, Winnable. Yeah, yeah. Why? Especially if the Tigers, if the Tigers continue to not hit anything ever, you know, the Twins are still formidable. The Guardians are not going to be formidable because they both can't hit anything and now don't have one of the best pitchers in baseball yes. because of exploding elbow syndrome. It's, it, you know, it's happening all over this great league of ours. And um, the White Sox suck. I mean, they really suck. Yeah, they're they're the worst team in the league. And the, and the Marlins only have one win. Yeah, they're, they're, they're truly horrible. So eliminate them. I have uh, I have whipped myself into the idea of basically asking the question, why not? It is once again April tenth, third best run differential in the American League right now because they beat the White Sox ten to one a whole bunch of times. Or <laughs> fourth best run differential in Major League Baseball right now. You're starting like, to hear more and more about this. They're um, six and two at home, one and two on the road. So maybe there's a little something there. I, I understand 11 games, small sample size, but yeah. I, okay. I like the Royals. <laughs> I wonder if you went to the FanDuel Sportsbook right now. I was just there yesterday. You were, you were parked over in Iowa. I was interesting. Nikola Jokic needed half a more point from him. Thanks, bud. Now, I believe, I don't know what the preseason, actually, I could pull it up. MLB. Um, so the Royals preseason odds to win the AL Central was plus 950. They are currently plus 750. So there, there hasn't been a huge market overreaction yet, but decent, a decent one. Um, but you better jump in now before they're, before you look up and it's May 25th and they're in first place. Those odds aren't going to be like that anymore. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway. Um, this could be a hilarious segment in July or August, but today, yeah, April 10th. No, I ride the roller coaster for sure. I'm this riding is the where we're at. All right, that's baseball segment. Uh, we got baseball on TV right now. Twins and uh, Dodgers. Let's go Dodgers. I wonder Shohei, how Shohei Otani thinks of Minnesota. Yeah, right. I wonder what he thinks of the Juicy Lucy. The, ju the Juicy Lucy. Yeah, good question. wonder if he's had a cheese curd while he's been up there. <laughs> that should be a television show. Shohei, Shohei Otani try uh -huh. Shohei Otani does America. So one of the best things about young Giannis was hey he would like record himself like hey have you guys ever heard of a corn dog this <laughs> thing's amazing I love that uh, I Maybe, just had a slurpee for the first time I wish I could approach corn dogs with the amount of wonder that yeah. uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo did once upon a time that'd be a great television show I, would. I know Shohei doesn't seem like he has any personality whatsoever 
and that certainly hurts the product, especially when you compare it to Giannis, who does. Um, but I would, I would just, I just want to see his reaction. You know, yeah. even if it's just a TikTok series, what does Shohei think of a cheese fill, a, a fried cheese ball? Poll question up at Happer Show: Has Shohei ever had a cheese curd? <laughs> Guess I probably could have went Shohei Otani, but I think we all know who Shohei is. Yeah, right? there's only one Shohei, at least okay. that we know of. Yeah, please vote on that at Happer Show. I think that'll be uh, that'll be a good that'll be a good pull question. All right, uh, we'll come back. Still plenty more to come on the Connor Happer Show. We'll get into some spring ball next on sixteen twenty the zone. Remember, no matter how you listen, it's still AM radio sixteen twenty the zone. 42 Degrees invites you to a tour of our botanical offerings during the limited time botanical sale. Get huge savings when you stock up on premium Kratom, CBD, Delta, all up to half off. And our premium cannabis is priced so low it's almost, well, illegal. Don't miss the botanical sale with savings of up to half off on the best that Mother Nature has to offer. 42 Degrees, your destination for top tier cannabis, second to none product selection, and exceptional service. 42 Degrees, by your mom's house. A Nebraska craft beers and ciders important to you? Whether you just love Nebraska brewed beers and ciders or you're a full-fledged craft brewery, there are benefits to membership for anyone with the Nebraska Craft Brewers Guild. Their sole mission is to foster and help grow the Nebraska-centric brewing community. Become a member today at Nebraska.beer and help advance the craft beer and cider industry in the state of Nebraska. Find out more about the Nebraska Craft Brewers Guild at Nebraska.beer. JTEC Construction, the official exterior experts of the Huskers, offers exterior solutions that help you protect your number one investment. Whether it's roofing and siding or windows and doors, they're committed to excellence, quality, and outstanding customer service in every step of the process. When it's time to protect the exterior of your home, your choice is simple. Turn to who the Huskers turn to, JTEC Construction. Check them out online and schedule a free estimate today. JTEC Construction. The official exterior experts of the Huskers. Guys, let's have a conversation. Let's say you've been losing interest in your spouse. You got low libido. You can't focus on things. And you're wondering, what is going on? It may be low testosterone. Mentality is here for you. With their FDA-approved testosterone treatment, their board-certified physicians who work with most insurance companies, they can diagnose the symptoms of low testosterone and take care of it. Schedule an appointment today. Go to the website, lowtusa.com. Take back your life, men. Mentality, lowtusa.com. Get more with Murphy Tractor. Each of our 29 locations offers new, used, and rental John Deere construction equipment, an extensive parts inventory, as well as other complimentary products. We also have a full team of Capstone certified technicians with field service capabilities. Let Murphy Tractor be your first choice for your construction equipment needs. Visit us online at murphytractor.com. The temperature's warm and Maverick baseball is hot. The Omaha Mavericks have won their last two conference series and lead the Summit League in conference wins. This weekend, Maverick baseball takes on conference rival South Dakota State as they make a run at a conference championship. Friday night is $4 Fridays with soft drinks, beer, popcorn, hot dogs, and brats, all $4. Get your tickets for all three games by calling 402-554-MAVS or by going to omavs.com slash tigs. We're going abroad for the first time in years to Spain. But we don't speak Spanish. So we started using Babbel. And started learning Spanish fast. With Babbel, you can start having conversations in another language in just three weeks. Babbel's conversational method teaches you real-life words and phrases. And with Babbel's interactive bite-sized lessons, you'll remember what you learned. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿De dónde eres? ¿De dónde eres? When you learn a language, you want to actually use it. Babbel is designed with that goal in mind. In just three weeks, we're starting to have conversations in Spanish. Estoy muy emocionado para ir a España contigo. Aw, he just said, I'm very excited to go to Spain with you. Nos vamos a divertir mucho. And that means we're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> sí. Gracias, Babbel. Babbel, language for life. Celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold. Now try Babbel for free at Babbel.com. Just go to Babbel.com and start learning a new language today. That's Babbel.com, B-A-B-B-E-L.com. All 
right, welcome back. Connor Amper, Josh Hudson with you. The Connor Amper Show on 1620 The Zone and on 1620 thezonecom Spring football. Josh, catch the fever. Have you caught it yet? Oh, yeah, I got it. You do? I you, got it big time. You got it? You sound like you're a little hoarse. Oh, yeah, it's from my, just shouting at my phone like, yeah, Danny, <laughs> sling it. So everybody goes to practice yesterday and they get like 20 minutes to go in there. The amount of... I mean, I think this would rival like a major a major sporting event or some sort of political press conference. The the, the amount of content being shared during it. Well, and, and in fact, you know, the media is told not to tweet during the actual practice. I, and I believe the reason why, Josh, is because it's a safety hazard because they're standing on the sidelines and if a dude comes running into them, they they want to be aware of that instead of having their head buried in their phone and just sending out tweets the entire time. Oh, okay, okay. Which is nice. And so they're told, all right, wait until you leave the practice facility and then you can tweet out whatever the hell you want. And so they do. And all these tweets coming at, come at the same time. I mean, I saw the one video, uh, the one thread of videos from our friend Matt in, uh, in Lincoln at KLIN. Did you see his? He tweeted out like 700 videos. <laughs> I got them all. It was like baby. a thread of all of the throws that I felt like I was there, and then the the observations and the nuggets and the uh, all the all the various videos that we saw. Like that is a that is a gigantic pop of content that just comes out all at once. I felt like I was there. So thank you to our local media for putting all that together. But one thing that it, that it was taken away from yesterday, and I felt like I watched the entire practice because I saw Matt's. 700 uh video tweet thread um and to pair it along with this a guy that i've heard some pretty good buzz about this spring has been one daniel kalen Ooh. danny danny dimes as you would have it visited the omaha baseball village last year he did did he get a picture with the riot shield by the way that we could Photoshop into things. Oh um, no, I don't think I did. That was a missed opportunity. I gotta, I gotta start thinking forward more. <laughs> I know. Down there, this it's summer. like we have this guy here. What can I make him do or say uh -huh. that I might need later? Right. All right. So think about that when the next uh, Omaha area recruit jumps by over the uh, over the over the College World Series. But guy's been uh, guy's been performing pretty well in practice. And so what does this mean? What does it mean for the quarterback race? Should we not count out somebody other than Dylan Raiola being Nebraska's starting quarterback at this point? Dylan. Should we not count them out at this point? And by them, I really mean Daniel Kalen. Is it a two-horse race? That's basically the question that I'm asking. I feel like it's two. I, <laughs> oh no they kind of like i think they think highly of heinrich harburg as a person right and as a as a football player how could you not but i don't think that you i i don't think that you could i don't think that nebraska would willingly put him in a football game at quarterback <laughs> unless you were running the option unless unless everybody really believed that they were going to run the option again and in that case he would definitely be your starting quarterback theo does yeah theo we gotta stop this option this option junk. And hey, by the way, um, you know, whoever the rest of the quarterback, they're they're going to run a little bit. Like they're going to use that part of the game a little bit. But um, you got to now. They're not going to be putting the guy in harm's way, running it twenty times. I mean, Heiner Carberg like was their leading, was it their leading ball carrier last year, and he missed like several games. Um, anyway, I I do like I said before. I don't think about the competition any differently than I did at the start of camp. Um, and I think it's very natural and normal, normal for a guy to come in and have a, have a couple of good days and, and use the accuracy to his advantage. And conversely on the other side, maybe struggle a little bit. I saw one of the clips showed Dylan Rail almost throwing an interception. It's like, Ooh, Oh, imagine if he would have thrown that interception and there would have been video of it. It would have been a bad day today. Oh, my goodness. In Husker Nation. So I don't think about the quarterback competition any differently than, than I did a few days and weeks ago. Um, 
however, like I am, I am really intrigued by the idea that this is not settled and, or, or at least publicly unsettled the closer and closer that we get to the season. Like it, the, I think the longer we go without having one guy defined and the more that both of them can continue to get reps and stuff like that. Um, like, I think that's a good, that that's an overall good thing for Nebraska as a football program, you know? And I feel generally more confident in the, in the personnel at the position, given those two guys, Kalen and Riola, that I just feel like generally the quarterback play is going to be better this year. We've, I've explained that a lot of times already. I just think that's going to be a much better, better, much better situation. Um, regardless of which one you put at that spot. Um, even it, it'd be better even if Heinrich Harburg was there because he's another season better, but I don't, I don't, I don't think it's going to be. Um, so I think the longer you could push this into the spring and into the summer, like that's a, that reflects that it's a good thing for Nebraska. And I think the stage, like I said, to Mitch earlier, like, I think the stage that they're in right now is not necessarily trying to find who the starting quarterback is going to be, but seeing if those quarterbacks have the tools to be the starting quarterback and really, I think more, more generally just letting them go and say, here's the reps. Here's all the reps you could ever need. You're going to be working with a hundred different people. Just go play football. And while you're doing that, you're developing and it's not about being the starting quarterback. It's not about, um, there's, there's a lot of other stuff that goes into it. You know, both of them talk at the same time last week i just think that's the that's the stage we're in right now um so when it comes to the spring game in two and a half weeks and they'll have to put a quarterback out there first i assume they'll put dylan rayola um but i don't know how much you'd like you know i don't know how much you take from it i think you take a little bit from from their performances like i want to see them play football against college athletes i, I want to see that um so for people who are like oh the spring game doesn't matter like not necessarily the results of it, but I do want to see how it looks. I remember watching, um, I remember watching Jeff Sims last year in the spring game, and I thought, "Yeah, that thing was weird coming out of his hand." I'm not so sure about that. Um, and that was just a note that I kind of, you know, had in my head all summer long. I remember watching Patrick O'Brien in his first spring game, and I thought, "Pob, why, why does the spiral?" on an eight yard throw point downwards. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused about this. Why, what, what's going on? You know, you just want to see it look crisp coming out of his hands. You want to see all the operational stuff work, um, but not necessarily the results of it. Those things, those things will come, but I do think, um, you know, we could, as far as a timeline for like, I, I know this was a thing that was talked about when rule got here last year because of the lack of, you know, what we knew about the quarterback spot it was like, when do they have to announce? When 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 do you ideally want to have a quarterback by? I I don't I think that's a really open ended open ended answer at this point. I, I I don't like I think you could take it and I think they will for the record take it um into fall camp. Like I I I don't think Nebraska will have announced a quarterback and I don't think it's their style to really announce a quarterback anyway to be like put out a graphic and say. Here's our guy, you know. I don't think they'll. I don't think they'll do that before fall camp. QB so one. I don't think Dylan Raiola will go. I don't think he'll represent Nebraska at Big Ten Media Days. Um, although a lot of people are going to want to talk to him, obviously. But I don't. I don't think they'll push it that way either. So I, I think this could be this could be drawn out, and there will be an air of mystery to it throughout the summer. But with the idea. Com- Continually kept in the back of your mind, which is, yeah, I think he's, it, it, it'll all work out and he's going to be the starting quarterback. But right now you're creating depth. That's something Nebraska didn't have last year. They didn't have one good quarterback, but they, they didn't have depth either. So um, you're trying to, you know, find that path for yourself. Keeps the guys engaged, right? Like, absolutely. Yeah, yes. Like, uh, I have to try because they haven't named him. Maybe they're thinking of me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I think that's an, a- that's absolutely a part of it. There's no doubt about it. Uh, from Husker Country on YouTube. Hi, Husker Country on YouTube. Media needs to stop posting updates slash video of practice. Practice needs to be a safe place to fail. Husker Country. I don't disagree with the sentiment there, right. actually. Yeah. <laughs> d- yeah. Like, 
the, the last sentence, practice needs to be a safe place to fail. There's a reason why there is, especially with the media contingent that Nebraska has, large. there is 30 minutes of open practice every couple weeks. And it's because if you were allowed to watch practice with Nebraska's media contingent, how competitive it is, large, right? Everybody's doing content, it's large. Um, everything would everything would be dissected and everything would get tweeted out. And and you are absolutely right about the second part. It's not a healthy environment, right? Um, but like, you know, I go to Creighton basketball practices and there's four people there and they are each individually kind of entrusted with the information that they see. They use it to their advantage, but they're not tweeting out when, you know, Baylor Shireman just missed a wide open three from the corner with the, with the scrimmage on the line, you know? Cause that doesn't matter. Like that, 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 that doesn't matter. It's a process. Thing. Did that happen? Come right. Uh, no, not that I, not that I remember. Okay. No, not that I remember. I can tell you from Creighton practice that, uh, Stephen Ashworth killed everyone every day in the three point shooting contest that they did at the end of, of practice. Oh, he won every single time. And for some reason still couldn't make wide open threes in, in games. So there you go. That tells you how much we know. <laughs> um, but I, it's not that. Uh, uh, so on the first part, though, like it's not the media's fault <laughs> for doing it. It's just the it's just the general idea that there is so much media, and obviously it's your fault for clicking on it. That's a part of it too. There's there's people who will read it and listen to it. Like this segment that I'm doing right now is nonsense. This is a nonsense segment. Whoa, but, whoa, whoa! But people will listen to this and they'll be like, hmm, "There's some interesting stuff in there." Hopefully, theoretically. Anyway, right? So. Yeah, I, I, I agree, and I guess disagree a little bit as well, too. Uh, from Chris in Montana. Hi, Chris. Do you think another quarterback is still coming in the transfer portal? That is something that I haven't thought about Ooh. in a long time. A quarterback in the portal or just the portal? A quarterback in the portal. I mean, the answer is no, right? Uh, I, I mean, I lean that way. Um. But I, I think there was some interest in no the way that the way the Riola thing kind of came together the first time there was no room to kind of think about anything else. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't definitively say no to it. Okay, no, I wouldn't definitively say no to it. I, now, once again, it's got to be the right situation. They're not looking for a starter. Not looking for a starter. So you're looking for a guy who's probably been a backup at a Power Five school for a couple of years and wants to. And wants to change the scenery and an opportunity to be a mentor. Like it's a very specific situation that Nebraska has to offer out of a port out of the portal. But I, I mean, I think they could use another body there. Yes, <laughs> I, yeah. I, I would encourage them to have another body there. And remember, it wasn't Casey Thompson. It was not Casey Thompson. That's right. Um, all right, let's take a quick timeout. Any thoughts on that? We'll. We will uh, get to them on the other side. Still plenty more to come on the Connor Happer Show on 1620 The Zone. Live from the Host Coffee Studio, this is 1620 The Zone. Watching a ball game at Oscars Pizza and Sports Grill is pretty awesome. Oscars offers the MLB package, so your team is always on their upgraded audio video system, and nothing is better than watching the game with a cold frosty one, Oscars pizza, or award-winning char-buffed wings. And with daily lunch and dinner specials, it's really a no-brainer. So get ready to watch your favorite team play ball at Oscars Pizza and Sports Grill, 173rd at West Center Road, and takeout at 162nd in Maple. Trees, are they all the same? Not at Lanaha. Grown from a quality seed source, handcrafted in our local farms for generations, and acclimated to our tough Midwestern climate, Lanaha's trees are different. Simply put, they're better. Much like our trees, we take great pride in being homegrown. Visit our garden center to find your next tree today. Rooted in quality, unmatched value, Lanaha Nurseries, 192nd and Center. At Progressive, we know money can't buy you happiness, but money did help you buy an RV, which means an excuse from working Saturday with your insufferable coworker, Dave. So money is helping you listen to birds chirp instead of Dave chirping about how his toddler is fluent in three languages. And it's also why you'll be smelling pine trees in the air, not Dave's tuna melt reheating in a microwave. 
So save money by bundling your RV or boat insurance with home or auto from Progressive and buy more happiness or something close to it. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. Is your concrete cracked or uneven? Hey everyone, Coach Greg McDermott here to explain why you should choose Everlevel Concrete Repair. Many people think they need to replace broken concrete, but repairing it provides durable protection and comes at a fraction of the cost. Everlevel provides permanent repair solutions to fix your concrete and protect it against future damage. And it all comes with a long-term transferable warranty. They offer free inspections to walk you through the entire process. Call Everlevel Concrete Repair today. Hi, this is Doug Nodgard with Equitable Bank. Great service never goes out of style. When the digital age dawned, many said computers would be able to handle many of the interactions that used to take a person. Boy, were they wrong. How many times have you called your bank and gotten a recording to press one or two? Not at Equitable. Not only does Equitable answer your call in the first ring, it's answered by a human being. That's because Equitable Bank values its customers. Equitable Bank, we take banking personally, member FDIC. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle, unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. The world's largest sports book in Las Vegas is available right at your fingertips in Iowa. The Circa Sports Iowa app is sports betting the way it should be. Bet anywhere in Iowa and experience high betting limits, tight money line splits, and exceptional customer service. Download your new bookie today. Visit CircaSports.com and start betting like a pro from anywhere in Iowa. If you or someone you know may have a problem with gambling, call 1-800-238-7633. Tickets for less. Best seats, best prices, no service fees. Shop ticketsforless.com. KOZ and Bellevue, Omaha, Council Bluffs. This is 1620 The Zone. Let's get back to the Connor Happer Show on 1620 The Zone. Here comes the clown. John Calipari. A lot of people saying Calipari. Calipari. Perry? No, is, not Perry. Is there one that's right? It's Pari, right? I have always been a, a Pari guy. What well, question? Are you a Pari guy? Are you a, are you a John? Do you say, this could be an actual poll question that I'd like research on, actually. Okay. Do you say John Calipari, phonetically spell it out, P- E A R P A I R or John Calipar E like par in golf. So my two choices are Calipari. That's one of them. Yep. And the other one is Calipari. Cal pair. Yeah. Like P A I R or P A E R. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Get, get that out there. John Calipari. Now I'm confused on what I say. Uh, John Calipari signed a five-year contract in which he will make $7 million a year to be the head basketball coach at Arkansas. $7 million a year. It's not a bad salary for a college basketball coach. that ranks amongst the top in the country. But it is indeed a million and a half dollars less than the $8.5 million he was making with Kentucky. Whoa, tight times. The deal announced today also includes a $1 million signing bonus and a $500,000 retention bonus each year of the contract, plus incentives for making the NCAA tournament and then, of course, advancing deep into the tournament. There are also two automatic rollover years for NCAA tournament appearances that would extend the deal until 2031. But as we said, I want to talk about this for a second. 
for for coaching contracts especially we have now passed the point where the terms of that contract are really important at all isn't it kind of amazing what we what we've morphed into in college athletics where like my first question when nebraska hires matt rule is not i don't care how much he's making like whatever it takes to get him right that's fine i don't care how i don't care how much he's making if he's top 10 in the country, if he's top 15 in the country, if you want to do the optics game and you want to say, well, this is what we have to pay our coach because this is what everybody else is paying their coach, then that's fine. But isn't it more now about the situation and more specifically the salary cap, a.k.a. the NIL pool? It used to be a lot about the assistant pool. I think that's still important as well. Coaches want to get their guys paid. Um, But in, in college basketball especially, it is about how much money is going to be at my fingertips to be able to to create the best roster in the country. Now, once again, there's some extenuating circumstances with Cal in that he was, you know, running from the posse a little bit there. You know, he was he he's in a lot of cases, I think, leaving Kentucky to not get fired at Kentucky. Yes, which is which is fine. We've seen a lot of coaches do it before, um, but why he's at Arkansas instead of any other place is not because of the money that they're paying his salary or the perks that they're giving him. It's because they are giving him the tools to create whatever roster he wants at whichever price he wants, which is, I mean, it's just a lot different than we viewed college coaching contracts 10 years ago. We remember when we said, I mean, this wasn't that long ago where and I still hear this refrain from time to time. Oh, we're going to be in a, we're going to be in a place one day where we're playing, paying college coaches $20 million a year or $15 million a year, or whatever it might be. Like, I don't, I don't know that that will be the case anymore. I don't know that we're even headed that direction anymore because it just doesn't feel like the most important part of the most important part of the deal. What kind of resources are you going to give me to build my roster? And yes, all the other stuff still matters, but I think, I don't know. But like I said, the reason why he's at Arkansas is because he's getting a giant NIL war chest that is being single, basically single-handedly funded by the guy from Tyson Chicken and the Walmart family. That's the story <laughs> here, um, which is kind of amazing to think about. Uh, here's a quote from... Uh, the athletic director at Arkansas, Hunter Urachek, by all accounts, John Calipari is one of the premier coaches in college basketball, a national championship coach, a four-time national coach of the year, and one of the nation's top recruiters. Coach Cal has consistently demonstrated his ability to attract outstanding talent and build championship teams within the SEC and position his programs among the best in the nation. He acknowledged, Cal did, the tremendous opportunity we have at Arkansas to attract and retain top players and compete for championships. He understands the deep passion of Razorback Nation and has experienced a tremendous home court advantage of Bud Walton Arena. I have no doubt that under Coach Calipari's leadership and with the collective support of all those who love the Hogs, Razorback basketball will continue to maintain its national prominence within college basketball. Maintain seems like a strong word, I guess. But... Yeah, are we ready for uh, Arkansas to be a national basketball brand at this point? Does that happen? Bill Clinton's going to be stoked. Bill Clinton's going to be real fired up about this, for sure. Uh, by the way, Chris Montana says, uh, as long as you pr- pronounce um, Perry or Pari with the drawn-out pronunciation, uh, Italian pronunciation, I think both could fly. Calipari, oh, wow. Calipari, Calipari. That's good advice. Yeah, is that is that poll question up? By the way, it is. It is up at Happer Show on Twitter. Um, speaking of Twitter and the story, something interesting is happening on Twitter. What's going on? Is um, it the is it the porn bots? No. Oh, so Kentucky needs a basketball coach. Yeah, yeah. We're flight tracking Scott Drew today. Yeah. Um, Scott Drew coach is currently at Baylor. That's right. Um. I don't know what you know about Waco, Texas, and the people who cape up for Baylor. 
It's a cult, right? Well, kind, oh, kind oh. well, not kind of. Okay. Um, their most famous supporters are probably HGTV superstars Chip and Joanna Gaines. Oh, do they have takes? Chip Gaines is fighting Kentucky fans on Twitter. Oh, nice. Where is this at? I got to see this. Um, it is a post from Barstool, Kentucky. Chip Gaines. It says keep these two away from Scott Drew for the next 48 hours and it's a picture of Chip and Joanna Gaines. Chip Gaines has replied laughing emoji y'all wish and somebody replied you don't want to go band for band with us Chip money bag emoji money bag emoji. Chip replied money is boring. Everybody's got money. We've got God on our side. What the hell is going on? <laughs> what a weird time that we live in and i mean he's he is replying to these kentucky fans he really is he really is um he i i find i find the hubris of kentucky very interesting in this situation as well and and the way that people think of kentucky as a basketball job like like they would have in any sort of dream scenario had the ability to go get dan hurley the day after he won a second consecutive national championship from uconn it's it's odd. It's the Texas football job, right? Uh yeah. With I mean, it's it's well probably more of a blue blood than that, right? Right. Like it's it's a blue blood with, but the drawback is mega expectations, and you they expect to get the best players and win a national championship on a year to year basis. If you're Dan Hurley. Like, why would you, why would you leave the job that you have for that right now? Yeah, you could already no. get whatever player that you want. Yep. You're already talented and they're not going to run you out of town. If you suck one year, your, your thing is built. It's up and running, right? It's done. So I, the, the hubris is hilarious and the way that people view Kentucky as a job. Like I said, like, I don't know the, for, for people to actually say out loud, oh yeah, they should, they should go get Dan Hurley. Like, it's just nothing. It's like, they're not going to get Dan Hurley. Just go get him. You've got all the money in the world. That's the only thing he would ever want, right? I have a feeling that this is going to be maybe a little tougher than they think it's going to be. Uh, Alabama's Nate Oates announced yesterday, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Monday night, that he plans to stay at Bama. So that's another Final Four team checked off. Alabama. Dan Hurley said, quote, now you're thinking in your brain as I'm looking at the locker room about the chance to do it three times, like a dynasty in modern times. I mean, that's what I'm thinking about. He's not going anywhere. The other, Another coach that's been mentioned in this job is coach of the Chicago Bulls, Billy Donovan. Uh, he was asked about the Kentucky job last night. And he said, quote, Awkward. and he had not been contacted by anybody. And his, quote, total commitment and focus is here to this team and this group. Um, and I believe that's how far we are down the line when you include the Scott Drew, Chip and Joanna Gaines situation today. Bulls have three games left. They're not a playoff team, right? Nah. I, no, no. Nah, nah, nah. So. If they strike out on Scott Drew, this thing uh, could well, get... Well, they'll, they'll, they'll be in the play-in. Oh, good. Sorry. Sorry, Bulls fans. If they strike out on Scott Drew, this thing could get sideways pretty quick, yeah. which which honestly would be really, really fun. Uh, Brent on the text line says, I bet Kentucky could get Bobby Hurley. Yes, I bet you're right about that. Um, So I'm honestly hoping for a whole bunch more strikeouts, and we'll just see how wacky it could get for the Kentucky job and who they who they would have to sell to their fan base that is going to work simply, and it would be simply on the back of, we are Kentucky. You cannot fail here. When in fact, I believe that you could fail there. It's been that, shown that you can. That program needs a recalibration a little bit, but yeah, yeah it, it's it, you can you can fail there. That's for sure. It's not a it's not an automatic thing. Uh, to the phones, forty two degrees source hotline. Here is Steve uh, on the yeah, line. Hey, Steve, go ahead. Hey, I was listening to you guys' takes on, you know, whether Kentucky, Arkansas, or, or, or Baylor. But when, when it comes to Kentucky, you know, they ha the last, few, you know, few years or couple of years, they, they haven't done that great tournament. Mm -mm. But 
is, is, is there reason for success, say, over the last 15, 20 years, you know, uh, always getting, uh, you know, top players to come in, top recruiting classes, guys getting drafted? Do you think that's more because of Kentucky or more because of Calipari? Uh, I would I would say that that's a Cal thing. Like, that's what he, that's kind of what he's been, he's all about. Well, I, I'm just playing devil's advocate here, but he was Kentucky was set up for that already before he came in. Yeah, and I tell you this too, Steve. Like, it's kind of a, it was a combination of right when the one and duns were taken off. It was, it kind of felt like it was right place, right time, just for that mix of a coach and that job. But I wonder about the one and done model in this in, in this current version of college basketball. It, like I'm talking about freshman one and done model. I don't like I wonder I wonder how that looks in the in the in the day of the transfer portal in NIL. Well because well and well because of NIL you'd be better off staying and, and getting a big paycheck if the school can afford it than you know sitting on the bench or going to the G League. Yeah. Oh oh yeah. That that's true. There's no doubt about that. I mean, they they'll, they'll get guys. Hey, hey, thanks for the call, Steve. Appreciate it. I wonder. Gosh, now Steve got me thinking a little bit. Like the, the there's only what a handful less, two three teams left in college basketball who really still do the one and done thing. And I'm talking about once again one and done freshmen. Like you, you're the best recruits on your roster, or the best players in your roster are all like five star freshmen. Duke and Kentucky, right? Right. Yeah, those are the two. I mean, what have they won? I mean, I know, I know, Duke was just in the Elite Eight. That counts for something. Kentucky hasn't made it out of the second weekend in a couple of years. Um, Duke had struggled in the tournament before that. Yeah. Um, like, I don't know. Maybe we're at the perfect confluence of of time between how new it is and and COVID years too, where you have all this experience. But doesn't it seem like experience and continuity really plays more nowadays? Now, I think I wonder what Cal's model at Arkansas will be. I imagine it's a little bit different than getting one and done freshmen. I think probably perfect time to shift. In his case, it's probably going to be one and done transfer portal NIL dudes. Yeah. Um, but Musbus did that last. Musbus did that for the last two years, and you know they had, they were a top ten team at times, but it didn't really get them much in terms of tournament success. Well, I mean, yeah, and that's a, that's a fickle game, no matter what. But now we like we were talking about basketball conferences and football conferences yesterday. Like I think it'll be proven out of, over time where it's it's not just how big is your nil war chest and how much money can you give these guys you got to have some continuity you got to have some culture year over year those teams have success in the tournament those are the teams that have success in the tournament yes you got to be talented to win a national championship but i i would say that you know uconn and purdue having basically you know a, a coherent core over the last you know maybe it's a two-year run instead of a three or a four-year run now in college basketball but a two, Creighton had, you know, the second of a kind of a two or three year run this year, and they, you know, got a Elite Eight and a Sweet Sixteen out of it. Um, I think that plays. Like, I think I think that's that's what ultimately can get you to have success in the NCAA tournament, and it gets you success in the regular season too, which keeps you around. So I, the, I think the model, um, especially from when Cal took the job at Kentucky, is just way way different now. It's way yeah. different. I mean, Cal's always been a, a guy who's been able to get talent to go to weird places, like. Oh, what's Marcus Camby doing at UMass? Yeah. Oh, what's Derrick Rose doing at Memphis? Oh, we took a Final Four. We, we went to the Final Four at UMass. That's huh, weird. Weird. Yeah, something to think about going forward. Anyway, can't wait till he does the Wu-Pig Suey like Dan Altman this, uh, either this afternoon or tomorrow. Hell yeah. Uh, we will come back still. More to come in the Connor Happer Show on 1620 The Zone. But bet the NBA with a no-sweat same-game parlay from FanDuel every Thursday with TNT Thursdays. Doesn't matter if you're new to FanDuel or if you already have an account. There are plenty of options for you, and you'll get bonus bets back if your same game parlay doesn't win on any, any NBA on TNT game. Any NBA on TNT Thursday is tomorrow. We have Knicks, Celtics, Pelicans, Kings. Those are your options for TNT Thursday tomorrow. Cook yourself up a same game parlay, and during either one of those games, 
and it is a no sweat same game parlay. However you like to play, head to FanDuel.com slash Happer. I bet the NBA with a no sweat same game parlay on TNT Thursdays. FanDuel.com slash Happer. Make every moment more with FanDuel, official sports betting partner of the NBA. 21 and over present Iowa. Minimum three-leg parlay required. Refund issued is now with trouble bonus bets that expire seven days after receipt. Max refund, $5, unless otherwise specified. Restrictions apply. See terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem call 1-800-BETS-OFF. Mornings with Sharp and Handley. Yep. I am so glad that the, like, the Easter Bunny is like bored and no kids are coming to see him. Because I think there is no good-looking Easter Bunny costume. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> this is my yearly TED Talk. It's the true. Easter Bunny costume is the most hideous yeah. costume around the holiday that is out there. It's true. And so, good on America that has stood up against throwing your kids on a stranger's lap that is wearing a hideous bunny costume. Yep. We can do better. We are doing better. Okay, thank you for stopping by. Mornings with Sharp and Handley. Weekdays 6 to 10. On 1620 The Zone. Your Omaha area forecast from a Godfather's Pizza Weather Center and KETV News Watch 7 on 1620 The Zone. Another mild day ahead for Wednesday. Expect partly sunny skies for the majority of the day. Southwest winds will shift more northwesterly in the afternoon. Not too breezy with gusts 15 to 20 miles per hour possible. Can't rule out a stray sprinkle after 4 p.m., but most will stay dry. Highs in the low 70s. I'm meteorologist Sean Everson from KETV News Watch 7. It's spring. Now is the best time to shop at Lenaha for all things garden or landscape. Our garden center is filled with the largest selection of homegrown plants, flowers, trees, and more. The area's best mulch and soil available for delivery and pickup. Rooted in quality, unmatched value. Lenaha Nurseries, 192nd and Center. With Spring Black Friday savings at the Home Depot, you can get up to $1,000 off select laundry appliances from top brands like LG, America's most reliable line of appliances. And with convenient shopping in-store and online, you can get new appliances with smart, intuitive features anywhere way you want like a new lg wash combo all-in-one that can run a full load in under two hours right now get a thousand dollars off select laundry appliances with spring black friday savings in store and online at the home depot how doers get more done savings now that's speaking the lowe's language and with my lowe's rewards your savings just keep coming save money with member only offers and earn points when you shop more points equal more rewards just for you because lowe's knows you earned it literally learn more about our new loyalty program at lowes.com slash my lowe's rewards program subject to terms and conditions points are awarded on eligible purchases see lowes.com slash terms for full details subject to change it's one thing falling in love with a house picturing yourself moving in and calling it home and quite another navigating the world of price negotiating mortgage lenders and finding the budget that works best for you An agent who's a Realtor can make understanding that world easier. Realtors have the expertise, access to proprietary data, and tools to help you get from imagining living somewhere to actually doing it. That's the kind of help we can provide. Because that's who we are. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. The greatest American rock and roll band in history, Aerosmith, presents Peace Out, the Farewell Tour. Smith with special guest the Black Crows. CHI Health Center Omaha, Friday, November 15th. Get tickets this Friday at 10 a.m. at Ticketmaster.com. Aerosmith with the Black Crows, the farewell tour. Peace out. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same, but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online at hymns.com slash radio. Through Hims, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you. Discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and a range of treatment options, including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands, at up to 95% off. ED is personal, and at Hims, so is treating it. Just go to hymns.com slash radio and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free. With zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash radio. That's hymns.com slash radio for your free online visit. H-I-M-S dot com slash R-A-D-I-O. Hey, Josh, I got a question for you, and I'm not sure... Question for you... 
I'm not sure if you can answer it or if you even know what I'm talking about. Okay. So what's up with everybody saying what's up, doing this and saying what's up, brother? Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? I have not seen this. I have not heard Everybody's about this. I'm doing, sorry. What's up, brother? And then they do, and then they do is a it, whole bunch of stuff with their hands. Is it like Hulk Hogan? Like, what's up, brother? No, it's they say what's up, brother? Like that. That was probably too much like Hulk Hogan, honestly. But it's like a so I have um I have traced this back, and I'm a very old man now. And in my old age, it's been difficult for me to understand this the sooner you realize it the better so there's this guy on um there there's this guy who streams video games and his name is uh i was gonna say twitch but that's not right uh sketch his name is sketch 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 and uh, all of the all of the athletes like when they do the videos of them walking into the arena for the they they're going like this they're going what's up brother and all the people I, I've seen so many news people who wel- welcome us into their broadcasts with what's up brother. And so I've traced this back to this kid named sketch who has a, who his bit is like, he wears a Houston Texans Jersey all the time. Okay. That's what I'm looking at. Mm-hmm. And um, what I can't figure out, and I guess this is mo- mainly the question to you is why this has exploded the way it has. It is, it is, it is overtaken like my entire life. Like everybody is doing now, obviously it hasn't taken over yours, which is nice, but like everybody is doing this. Do that many people watch video gamer Twitch streams? Uh, Thank he, you, Phil, for for answering the question. Some scream, but like, wh- why? He has six hundred twenty thousand followers on Twitch. Okay, that is nowhere near, nowhere near what it would f- reflect according to what I see on my on my timeline. Anyway. He has gained a quarter of a million followers in the past thirty days. What happened? I don't. I'm reading an article this, about is, that right now. Is this a government? Is this a government thing? Streamer is an active member of Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege community. Yeah, he plays video games. This is what he does. Yeah. He raised the stakes by wagering $10,000 in a one versus one Rainbow Six challenge with another streamer. Who's that? Uh, Case. Queso. 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 That sounds like a streamer. Or cheese. Streamer's gaming repertoire extends beyond Rainbow Six as he de- delves into Madden. Yeah. In a recent s- in a recent stream, he engaged Sauce Gardner. <laughs> so there's your sports connection. So his bit is he says, "What's up, brother?" What's up, brother? Uh, so here's here's one from uh, Michael. Hi, Michael. His TikToks being a weirdo on Madden blew up, and everyone has seen them. He's played Madden with a bunch of NFL players okay all right but like blew up to the point where everybody is referencing this everybody is referencing this i'm just i'm continually amazed about what gains popularity and but not only what gains popularity how quickly things can explode if they're put on social media or if like it becomes a thing like one person decides this is cool, and now everybody must watch this kid play Madden. It's very, I don't know what's happened. Now, your use of everyone sounds a lot like Jimmy Allen's use of the word everyone. It's very yesterday. omnipresent in my life, Josh. Maybe I'm in my, I'm definitely in my own bubble, but like it's, I, I have seen athletes, once again, walking into arenas, people welcoming me back to Sports Center by saying, what's up, brother? And doing this it's very it's 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 present it's everywhere um plat cat that's right brother in. sketch that's the first thing that comes up yeah seriously it, it's, it's everywhere maybe i I'm, you haven't seen this yet this is good and a youtube video that says wtf is what's up brother 
Uh, Black Cat says, sketch reminds me of the scene in 21 Jump Street where Channing Tatum talks about the cool kids not being regular cool kids. They're these granola kids and it's backwards and unnatural. <laughs> that, I, that was a great scene and a great line by yes. Channing Tatum. Um, it, just life is a lot different now from when I was a, from when I was a kid. All the all the weird things are popular now, not the actual cool kids. So the cool okay. kids are weird, and the weird kids are cool. So I don't get it. Here's his clips have gone viral on TikTok of him saying, "What's up, brother?" Tuesday, Tuesday. <laughs> yes, and, yes, Tuesday, Tuesday. That's the and, other one. They're flapping. People are. He's flapping his wings. This is one somebody hit me with the other day that I didn't know what the hell they were talking about, so I just kind of ignored it. Special teams, special yes! plays, special players. That's the other one. That's the other one. So somebody said that to you and you didn't know what they were talking about? Yeah, I didn't about? know what they were talking about. Who so. hit, who, who hit uh, you with that? Somebody on Twitter. Okay. I'm just like, okay. What? <laughs> I guess that fits with, here with what you're saying. Charles says the youngs watch streams of video games for sure. So, like, how do we get them to watch our show? What do we have to do? I feel Twitch. like we're crazy. We say stupid stuff. I've said a lot weirder things than what's up, brother, yeah. before. He just stole that from the Hulkster. <laughs> but I'm amazed about, like, it's a sick. Now, I'm, I shouldn't even make this comparison because I just want to be clear that I'm not comparing these two people. All right. I think Taylor Swift is a really good artist. I yes. think she, I think she's fantastic. Yes. Why? Why? How, why? How is your music so special that he that she is a global international superstar? But not only a global international superstar, one that we have to know what she is doing every second of every day, and that she apparently speaks in secret tongues and she hides things in words that she's saying. And we have to care about all of these things. How do you grow yourself to the popularity of that? Great question. Got, I, I don't even think she wanted that. I think it got away from her a little bit. And now she's figured out how to do it. <laughs> yeah, she definitely has. Once again, not comparing the two, but it's the same. It's the same type of question. Why do you think? Why, why do you think? Like. Why do things become popular? I mean, it's a very big picture question. It is. It's, we only have like one minute left I, in the segment. I know. And we can't answer it today. And but I, that is this is my deep thought question of the day. Why? And then we and then they become too pop. And then they, they become yes. too present. Yes. And then you get the haters. Now there's gonna be sketch haters all over the place. Sketch haters. Who's sketches rival? Who's Ooh, yeah. Sketch. Uh, While you look that up, rival. Can I read another tweet from Chip Gaines? Uh, sure. Okay. Yeah. He. Uh, somebody asked who TF is. Chip Gaines. I'll let you figure out what TF means. Yeah, I got it. Uh, he responded, "Do you kiss your mom with that mouth? Ask her who I am. She'll know." Wow. <laughs> That's actually probably true, though. <laughs> Sadly. Oh yeah, moms yeah. love. Mom, chip moms and definitely know about yeah. Chip and Joanna. I didn't Gaines. think about it like that. <laughs> I didn't know about Chip and Joanna Gaines, but my mom does. Astros Kyle Tucker performs home run celebration by Sketch, a popular Twitch streamer. Wow. All right. So pro athletes are giving this guy. This is yeah. This is an open ended segment. Yeah. Wow. I don't. I don't know. Like I just. Would like anybody's thoughts on this because I I'm I'm confused by it. Not to hate on the guy, he seems like a fine guy. He seems like a nice guy. But yeah, you're just questioning how what things happened? and people gonna, become popular. Yes, yeah. that, that's the question of the second. What happened? And what has to happen? What do I need to say? All right. Um, how many emails does Sketch get? From <laughs> that's a great question. Probably less than us. All right. Pull questions. Tell you what to watch on the other side on sixteen twenty the zone. The best way to catch all the action is on 1620 The Zone. And no line for the bathroom. Host is hosting every morning. 
Host is roasting every day. Since 1972, family owned and locally roasted host coffee service has been roasting the finest coffee for businesses and restaurants. If you're ready to change to a better coffee provider, it's time for host coffee. Omaha's best coffee since 1972. Host coffee is always roasting something good for you. Your Omaha Stockmen are kicking off their 10th season and have their home opener at Ralston Stadium on April 27th at 7 against their Heartland Football Association foe, the Newton Nighthawks. Their home opener is also their fourth annual Sammy's Superheroes Childhood Cancer Night. This has become a fan favorite night with kid captains and raffle items with a portion of ticket sales going directly to the foundation. The Omaha Stockmen home opener and Sammy's Superheroes Childhood Cancer Night, April 27th at 7 at Ralston Stadium. Got the happy hour blues? Get to Cops for happy hour relief with two happy hours from 3 to 6 p.m. and 8.30 p.m. till close Sunday through Friday. Cops serves 24-ounce domestic drafts for just $3 and 24-ounce craft drafts for only $4 plus $2 off appetizers. The restaurant that offers great pizza, burgers, and tasty charred wings now offers two great happy hours. Visit Cops today at 180th and Center, the Shadow Lake Town Center, and 72nd and Jones or click CopsPizza.com. Cops, pizza, and so much more. The Zone Inbox is brought to you by Equitable Bank. We take banking personally. Email me, Connor Happer, with the Connor Happer Show at Connor, C-O-N-N-O-R, at 1620thezone.com. Send me your love, your hate, and maybe a few hot takes. The Zone Inbox, presented by Equitable Bank. Howdy! Greg Wagner joining you from the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission. Time now for another Nebraska Outdoor Update. Say there's a lot to do this season in Nebraska's outdoors. There's always hiking in the state parks. There's bird watching. There's trout stream fishing action there's scouting for that spring wild turkey hunting trip and there's looking for shed deer antlers in your favorite woods so there's no reason to be a couch potato is there no get outdoors and enjoy well it's time time to get all your new permits and stamps for hunting fishing for harvesting in state parks time to check your motorboat registration for renewal time to make those cabin and camping reservations in the state parks if you haven't done that already and time to go over all of your outdoor gear for spring and summer. Get more information on Nebraska's outdoor scene by going to the Game and Parks website, OutdoorNebraska.gov. And that'll wrap it up. I'm Greg Wagner with Nebraska Game and Parks. The world's largest sports book in Las Vegas is available right at your fingertips in Iowa. The Circus Sports Iowa app is sports betting the way it should be. Bet anywhere in Iowa and experience high betting limits, tight money line splits, and exceptional customer service. Download your new bookie today. Visit CircusSports.com and start betting like a pro from anywhere in Iowa. If you or someone you know may have a problem with gambling, call 1-800-238-7633. All right. Thank you for uh, trying to help me understand the core questions. Uh, Chris. Hi, Chris. He says he's 32. I was watching a streamer the other night that had over 100,000 concurrent viewers. There's a decent number of streamers that have millions of followers on Twitch and YouTube and TikTok. Esports and gaming are getting more popular by the day. See, it's that that I understand. That uh, totally esports are yeah, getting big. Absolutely, I'm. It's not for me. It's not for me. Iowa Western multi-time national champion in esports, but I don't think that's representative of the uh, of the uh, um like just because it's getting more and more popular, um it feels like it's like exploded. Mm -hmm. Why did you specifically watch it, for this one guy? And yes, Chris, why did why did you watch it? Did you watch it because other people were popular? Or the, because other people were watching it and you felt like it was popular. I don't know what's going on. Just want to know why. I just understand why. it's a thing. Uh, Chris Montana. Says, Chris. Never give up, Connor. I have faith that you will come up with a very snappy catchphrase like this. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'd buy that for a dollar. That's from RoboCop. That's what she said. There's other options in here, too, that include bad words. Oh, okay. In all seriousness, my friends and I swear that we are... 
Okay. All right. Never mind. I'm not going to read the rest of that. But, oh, okay. Yes. All right. Uh, here we go from the uh, from the poll questions at Happer Show on the JTech Construction Zone Twitter feed. Do you know a bad gas station? Weird poll question. I don't know a gas station to be a being, but I do know of a bad gas station. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. We we all drive by the ones that were like, yeah. nope, not going there. Ninety two percent say yes. Uh, does a runza define you? It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to. But it kind of does for me. Yeah, it's pretty representative of me. <laughs> 68% say no. Is every kid named Jackson now? Yes. Sure seems like it. 59% say yes. Has Shohei Otani ever eaten a cheese curd? Yes or no? See, I've been thinking about this one a lot. I don't know. I don't think so. I, no. I don't think so. He eats clean. He's True. never had a cheese curd. True. Seventy-eight percent say no. And finally, how do you pronounce John Calipari? Is it John Calipari or John Calipari? It's par. I I'm a par par. guy. Yeah. I'm a par guy. Sixty-five percent say John Calipari. Those are the poll questions. Josh, what are we watching? Uh, NBA doubleheader on ESPN tonight. Mavericks Heat at 6.30. Heat fighting to get out of the play-in. They'll need to win tonight to help that cause. And then the Nuggets host the Timberwolves on ESPN at 9 o'clock. Nikola Jokic finished half a point under his point total yesterday. Interesting that you know that. I do, I do. Uh, NHL on TNT tonight, 7.30. Golden Knights at the Oilers. Las Vegas needs every win they can get right now. They are the last team in the wild card for the NHL playoffs that start very, very soon. Baseball on MLB Network right now. Dodgers and Twins is at a commercial. I believe it's 2-2 still. In some middle inning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good wrap up by me. Diamondbacks Rockies, 2 o'clock on ESPN+. Plus. So Nick Grimm will not be involved in Unsportsmanlike Conduct today. He'll be watching baseball. Rays Angels, 3 o'clock on MLB Network. 3-2 to two, top 5, by the way. Twins. Oh. Wow. Orioles Red Sox, 6 o'clock on MLB Network. It's also your MLB TV free game of the day. And the A's at the Rangers is your nightcap on MLB Network at 9 o'clock. They played a thrilling game last night uh non-sports entities to watch the season four premiere of the challenge all stars is on paramount plus an elite group of franchise favorites compete for three hundred thousand dollars one competitor questions their desire to play while another wars with an x and finally tonight at six o'clock mm-hmm. on wwt channel six nbc oh it's Jeopardy. Yes. For the first time in 152 episodes. A normal game? A normal game of Jeopardy will be played with new contestants and the returning champion from last season. The writer's strike spurned the quiz show to create random tournaments in the interim. They were fun, but I'm tired of them. What? Why, I, does, I, I, why I do they need writers for the for the regular games, but not the tournament? I don't know what the loophole was. I knew there, I know there's a loophole there, though. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm excited, but I'm still like a week behind. Okay. So I you're, got I got some time to make. You're up. you're uh you're in the jit right now. Yeah. Oh, I just got an email. My taste of the masters just oh. got delivered. Oh wow. Pimento cheeses for everybody. Wow. I cannot wait for you to let me try some. I'll I'll bring you a, a I'll bring you. A, I'll I'll make one for you actually. Oh, wow. I think I got to the store and get some bread though. Oh, that's right. It doesn't come with bread, which is a good thing. Yeah, I'll bring my own. Thanks, Josh. Thank you, Connor. That's what we're watching tonight. That is the show. If you missed anything, you could find it on a very good website, 1620thezone.com. The crossover is next. Live from the Host Coffee Studio, this is 1620 The Zone. What does Saul's loan on? Almost everything, like jewelry, gold chains, bracelets, earrings, wedding rings, and high-end watches, guns, electronics, $10 to $50,000, super fast and easy with no credit check. Saul's loans on almost everything. Trees, are they all the same? Not at Lanaha. Grown from a quality seed source, handcrafted in our local farms for generations, and acclimated to our tough Midwestern climate, Lanaha's trees are different. Simply put, they're better. Much like our trees, we take great pride in being homegrown. Visit our garden center to find your next tree today. 
rooted in quality, unmatched value, Lanaha Nurseries, 192nd and Center. Hi, everybody. I'm Gary Sharp for Lindley Clothing. The kids are telling me, and even adults, my fit is rad. You know why my fit is rad? Is because I'm going to Lindley Clothing. I'm letting them outfit me, and I'm also taking advantage of the final week of the annual spring sale. Get 15% off all sportswear, tailored suits, sports coats, buy one, get one half off, and also new to the Lindley Clothing family. This is a game changer. Listen up. Well suited. You can see for yourself how easy to shop for you or someone in your life just in time for prom, graduations, any special event. If I need a suit, I go there. Don't rent a suit. Buy a suit from Lindley Clothing and Well Suited. With Spring Black Friday savings at the Home Depot, you can get up to $1,000 off select laundry appliances from top brands like LG, America's most reliable line of appliances. And with convenient shopping in-store and online, you can get new appliances with smart, intuitive features any way you want. Like a new LG wash combo all-in-one that can run a full load in under two hours. Right now, get $1,000 off select laundry appliances with spring Black Friday savings in-store and online at The Home Depot. How doers get more done. Are you the decision maker in your company? Consider this. For the first time in decades, there's a better option for a corporate card and spend management platform. Meet Ramp, the only corporate card and spend management system designed to help you spend less money so you can make more. Most corporate credit cards offer points as incentives, but those points amount to less than their worth in real cash value. Ramps corporate cards offer you cash back, real money in your pocket. Plus, you control who spends what with each vendor. And Ramps software collects and verifies receipts automatically, which means you'll stop wasteful spending and close your books in hours instead of days. Businesses that use Ramp add up to 5% to their bottom line the first year. If you're a decision maker, adding Ramp could be one of the best decisions you've ever made. And now, get $250 when you join Ramp. Just go to ramp.com slash sports, ramp.com slash sports, ramp.com slash sports. Cards issued by Sutton Bank and Celtic Bank members of DIC terms and conditions apply. Email on sportsmanlike conduct on the Equitable Bank Zone Inbox with whatever is on your mind, from your hot takes to what you think is one. The Zone Inbox is brought to you by Equitable Bank. We take banking personally. We want to hear from you on the Equitable Bank Zone Inbox. 